today on Hollow Knight, we're going uppy. That's the one thing I know. We're going uppy. Also, I, I maybe made another game that I was playing off stream. I may have started a new game for off stream and I may have gotten through most of Green Path already. <laughs> You're doing well, who what? Oh, those spring allergies are rearing their head. Hollow Knight feels ya. He feels you. You got lasagna, garlic bread, and a big chef salad on the way. Nice. The big salad. Uh, so let me let me show you guys what we got last time. We we did find, I think, one this mask shard. We also found one vessel fragment. Uh, we got the dream nail! So we've been working on that stuff. We need to collect 100 essence before we go talk to the person who gave us the nail. Um, and I think we can maybe upgrade it at that point. We also got, um... Shade Soul! An even more powerful soul bomb thingy. Fireball! It's basically a soul version of a fireball, alright? We got a more powerful one. It's pretty awesome. Um... I don't remember if we got Howling Wraiths last time or the time before. I really should probably be trying to use that more often. Uh, I did get an upgrade to the nail. We now have the channeled nail. Uh, we also got a few, like, random little seals and stuff I can sell. I have another simple key. Oh, which means that we can go into another house that was locked before. I still don't know what these rancid eggs are for. It's fine. We'll find out eventually. Uh, oh, most importantly, though, we got the Monarch Wings, which, um, by the way, is absolutely why I wore my Distant Worlds t-shirt, because it has wings on it. Wings. Wings. Uppy. Wings. <laughs> wings. And, uh, that's about it. We defeated, uh, well, last time we defeated the Soul Warrior, the Dung Defender, Fluke Marm, and Broken Vessel. Uppy is, <laughs> Uppy is literally uh, just a kiddie way that I have inherited saying where we're just going to go as far up as we can. <laughs> Vertical movement in an upward direction. Uh, you see here... In yonder city of tears. We need to go uppy. Tom, thank you so much for resubbing for 23 months in a row. Welcome back. I appreciate that. Ding, how are you doing today? Eternal wings in the lost ocean. Yeah, I don't, I don't really remember, I think I think Kafka started saying it. I mean, I, I think you've been saying it way longer than this, but you started saying it <laughs> during Hollow Knight. And I don't know, I just sort of started saying it too. And now I can't stop saying Uppy. It's kind of like how I've picked up Yeet and Henlo. I can't stop myself now. Uppy, down here doodles, righty boy, lefty girl. <laughs> We have, yeah, we have overall made some really good progress in the game. Uh, funny enough, I feel like most of the progress we made yeah, last time was in like the last couple of hours. Oh yeah, also, um, one other very important thing that we did last time, we found Hera the Beast, and we have officially destroyed her slash absorbed her soul into our body. Um, this has changed the Forgotten Crossroads into being a little more, um, orange. A little more orange. Definitely interesting. Uh, there's, oh, there's also, uh, this other one. 
Lurian, I'm pretty sure this is Lurian the Watcher, and I think this is Monomon the Teacher. Please no one clarify, like don't don't tell me if I'm right or wrong, but I think so. Or wait, no. No, 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 never mind. I think it's reversed that. I think this might be Monomon the Teacher. Yeah, 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 because I wrote down where they are. Lurian the Watcher, I wrote down Spire above the city. So yeah, this is Lurian. Um, and then over here is Monomon the Teacher. Unfortunately, like, I really want to go after Monomon next whenever I'm ready to go after one of the other three dreamers. But I think he's blocked off to me at the moment. May I interest you in an orange? Totally not contagious. Definitely won't infect you and your dreams. <laughs> Hi, Alley Cat. Yeah, I'm playing on PC. How are you? And there's AOD. Talents TV. Hi, Talents. How are you? Yeah, I actually think the deep deepness went pretty well overall. I'd say. Um. So yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys. Just a reminder. This is what happened. The forgotten crossroads is now the infected crossroads. Now, I... I'm gonna do a, a quick little check here. I don't think that I have anything to turn in, but I wanna be sure. Oh yeah, also out. Everything explodes in here now, pretty much. Yeah, okay, I haven't found any new ones. So, I'm gonna go back up to Dirt Mouth. The first thing I actually wanna do today, I realized while playing a new game that I started off stream, that there's actually a mask piece that I mentally noted existed here, but I forgot to go back for once I had the ability to access it. So, I wanna go get that mask piece th first thing. Tristram! Wormies, that's a resup. <laughs> Just um, thank you so much for 19 months. Welcome back. I really appreciate that. Ding. Oh man, you got yourself stuck in deep nest way early with no lamp. I am so sorry. That was me in the crystal mines place. Uh, but dude, I feel like deep nest would have been even more frustrating. <laughs> Hi, Orbal Zuna. How are you doing today? Bard wave, 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 bard wave. I'm feeling a little bugged. Bard cheer 100, bard cheer 100, bard cheer 100, bard cheer 50. Bard cheer 100. Zinnius, thank you for the 350 bits. I appreciate that. Hi, Balthazar. Ooh, you just beat this today. Nice. Congrats. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, and also, French, I just triggered this um, pretty much right at the end of stream last time. I think within the last 30 minutes to an hour. Or something like that. Or at least that's when I noticed it. I think we um, killed her. I think we killed the spider lady maybe in the last two or three hours. And then um, I came back to the crossroads in the last hour or so and noticed... Hey, Ritsu, how you doing? And there's Poppy. Hi, Poppy, how you doing? Yes, I uh, I had to like fight myself over playing this game off stream, Don Poppins. I really like, basically as soon as we ended stream on Saturday, I wanted to keep playing so bad, but I didn't want you guys to miss anything. So I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? I wanna like, I, I just, I have to play this. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna start a new game and maybe that will make me feel better until I can play it again on Saturday. It did help. You ended up going through deepness before you even got the City of Tears. Oh, oh man. I'm trying to think how, how would that have happened? I wonder. 
I forget. Wait. Oh, oh, wait. Yeah, because you could, um. Wait. Oh, yeah, I was, I was, sorry, I was sitting here like, wait, how would you get to Deep Nest before that? And then I, I realized, oh, yeah, that's right. All you had to do was defeat the, um, the Mantis Lords, and that leads you to Deep Nest. I just kind of, I skipped the Mantis Lords by not realizing they were there for, like, ten hours. You did- Oh, the Mantis Lords right off the bat. Poked your nose in Deep Nest, fell down that pit, and sat at a bench without thinking about what you were doing. <laughs> yeah. Admittedly, uh, I also felt it was a large mistake whenever I went to Crystal Peak and went down there and then realized, oh boy, there's no way back up because I hadn't gotten the lamp, so I couldn't even go through the other exit. Uh, yeah, okay, sorry, I lost track of what I was doing. We're gonna go to the Forgotten Crossroads. I wrote down, I wanna get this mask piece. Um. Yeah, it's the burrow worm area. I wrote down it's below slash left of the stag station. Hi, Randy. How you doing? Yeah, just just uh, accept the infection into your heart? Question mark. Yeah, the mantis swords were super cool. I really enjoyed that fight. I did that after the soul master fight, so that honestly helped a lot. Soulmaster was the first really difficult fight that I went through. Uh, I mean, I, I saw, like, Hornet gave me a little trouble. I had to spend a while learning her movements. But then I went from Hornet straight to Soulmaster. Your first time playing the game, you found yourself inside of Deepness kind of early. Yeah, that place is terrifying. Even later, I had I had the lantern and everything uh, for Deep Nest, and it still creeped me out. You honestly think Mantis Lords is oh, one of your favorite fights in the game? Yeah, it's um it's one of my favorites too. Although we met the Dung Defender yesterday, or not yesterday, last time we played this game, and I super super loved it. That fight's awesome. Oh, also, I have just realized a problem. The infected crossroads has blocked off the direction that I needed to go. This is uh, a new revelation for me. I will have to go around. Wait, can I even go? Yeah, I think I can. Well, we'll see. Yeah, we'll be back to playing so we get in on Wednesday. That'll be the next scheduled day. We usually do about three days of the main RPG. Saturdays are usually side quest Saturday. And then this Sunday is actually just going to be kind of a random impromptu day. I am curious if um, there's going to be another boss here. No, okay. Is this lady okay? Let's find out. <laughs> Okay, that's good. She's still fine-ish. Ugh, I need five more charms for this notch. Okay. Yeah, that's what I really liked about it too, John. It's a straightforward fight in terms of patterns, but requires very good execution. Especially the second part. Yeah, I actually, the way that I learned how to deal with Hornet French is by audio cues based on what she says. Uh, cause she goes, ha, ah! for um, her straight shooting move and 
Uh, she does like a hood hat kind of, there's like a little bit of extra dialogue there when she does the spinny whip thing around her body. You're still fighting the last deal. So you got this cap guy, I believe. Hey, Otacar. Hey, Black Knight. How you guys doing? Uh, no. You're excited for the 14? Oh, time by 15 event. Yeah! I forgot that's this week. That is exciting. Also, no. Wow, these guys have a lot of money. You're doing good, Black Knight. I'm glad to hear that. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Any day that I get to play Hollow Knight is a really good day, honestly. All right, cool. So I was able to go around... I think I just need to go this this way? Maybe not. What's going on over here, though? I hear a creepy heartbeat. Not sure what that's from. Usually those are those eggs. But I don't see one offhand. Uh, I need to go up a bit more. Slightly more uppy. Oh yeah, see look at this. It's completely blocked off right here. Ugh, that's so gross. Alright, so this is where last time I, um... Uh, I kind of forgot about the fact that there is absolutely a mask piece in this place. Um, I don't remember where in here it is, but I know it's in here, and I missed it last time. Hi, Roster, how you doing? Boom. Hey, Bird Booty, how you doing? Hey, photosynthesis. Do you ever double jump so much in a game you forget you can't in real life? <laughs> uh, I definitely have wished many times that I could double jump in real life. If that counts. Ow! Gosh! I forgot that, yeah, those guys explode. I don't know why I forgot they explode, because I just watched many of them explode. Oh, I hear that. I hear it. Yeah, it's up there. So I couldn't get up here before. Oops. You don't know about that, but you certainly double jump so much in a game you... Oh, you forget not all games have double jump. Yeah. I feel that.
Okay, I'm gonna mark that off now. We did it! I got that mask piece that I had forgotten before. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, next place I need to go that's on my list of things we needed to wrap up from before. Uh, we need to go to the City of Tears. I'm gonna actually go back to the Stag Station because that'll be faster. Even though we have to walk around. It will still technically be faster because I need to go to the second Stag Station in City of Tears. And there is a certain house that has a sign on it. It kind of looks like it's got our face on it and that particular house was locked and required a simple key, which we now have. Oh, hey. There's a money rock here. You wonder what speedrunning this game is like? It, people definitely do speedrun it. How are you doing? It's good to see ya. I still wonder if there's anything I can do about this or if it's just permanently blocked off. I feel like knowing my luck, it's probably permanently blocked off. Also, since I'm here and I have some money, I might as well go spend it. We can buy like a charm or two, I think. Ow! Explody Man. I was not expecting Explody Man to be there. I thought I killed him before. Was there one of these last ATQ? Uh, if there was, I probably would have forgotten because I would have avoided it since I hadn't played the game yet. <laughs> so Hmm I want to ride my chocobo all day. Difficult decision time. I want to ride my chocobo all day. Had to hit that button just because you have an actual pen and paper list. I do. I thought I was the only <laughs> one who did that. I do. You are not alone. Don, thank you so much for two months. Welcome back. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the support. I, uh, I started taking notes on stream physically. Like, I used to do that all the time when I was younger. But I started doing it on stream when we started playing Danganronpa. Uh... No, not this one. Other one. This is my Danganronpa notebook, okay? These are all of my notes for Danganronpa 2. It just, it just keeps going. Because I made a section for every character, and there's a section for every chapter. <laughs> it just... Ah, there's the end. The end is actually uh, approximately halfway through this notebook. <laughs> I started taking notes for that because we'd play it once a week and it really helped me remember the plot and be able to guess about like, oh, like who the murderer is and stuff. So I just started taking physical notes again for the rest of our games. And uh, it honestly just makes things even more enjoyable. Um, You know, I feel like... Steady body only costing one is pretty nice. I'm gonna buy this one though, because it costs more money. And I need to kind of collect all the charms so that I can get this notch. <laughs> I did use them to solve uh, puzzles sometimes. I did. You know what, in fact, since these guys just respawn when I go inside, I'm gonna just farm them. For some money, real quick. Because now we have enough to buy that 120 badge. Easy peasy.
<laughs> Bam. All right, now we're only three charms away from being able to buy a new charm notch, which would also be really, really nice to have. Because, man, I could really use another notch. Because then in my exploring one, I could use Gathering Swarm again. Although I feel like maybe I should just do that instead of the Defender's Crest for wandering around anyway. Because I feel like Defender's Crest has been... It was actually really useful for one of the boss fights I did. But I don't want to miss any money, especially since I'm planning on buying all of those. So we'll stick to this for now. Hey, Alucard, how you doing? Hi, Chaos! Oh, enjoy Dota 2! Awesome, you guys are winning. Okay. Okay, no, we need to go this way to go uppy. We go uppy this way. And then we're gonna go many uppies. Oh! Ah, I fell. I'm also kind of practicing remembering to use double jumps. Thorns is so great. You're doing good, Alucard. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, crest was, that crest was really handle or, or really awesome for the. Well, we didn't have it for Broken Vessel, uh, but we had it for the Broken Vessel, like, Redux. No, I guess we did technically have it for the first one, but it was really useful for that, like, dream fight uh, with Broken Vessel, because it got rid of those ghosts that don't actually have health, but they, when they touch you, they deal damage. But since they would come into that little pink mist, they would just die instantly instead of hitting us, which was really nice. So, if I go back and fight that guy again, I'm definitely going to re-equip it. We might do it for boss fights anyway, just because, like, the more damage, the better, right? Bowl of Life cereal? I can't remember the last time I've actually had a Bowl of Life cereal. Hello! Alright, let's go to King's Station. I believe that's what we want. You've been enjoying Ninu Kuni 2 on your new PS4? Ooh, nice. I still need to play Ninu Kuni. Making bug friends. Mm -hmm. Hey, Reinbach, how are you doing today? It's been years for you, but it's probably your favorite cereal. I think my favorite is probably Fruity Pebbles. Okay. No. I want to go up there, but for now, uh, let's see. Actually, we're going to go up east somewhere else other than City of Tears first. But right now, we're going to go to where our mark is. Over here. Ow! Hey! Wow, that was a really good landing for that guy. Not so much for me. Oof, ouch. Ow! Rude. Sir. That is rude. Balls, oh, thanks for bringing folks over. How are you doing today? You like peanut butter crunch, but it tears up your mouth? I can't remember the last time I've had peanut butter crunch. Oh, I thought I heard something else. What the f What is this? Ow. 
Oh, it's an enemy. <laughs> Granny, no! Okay, let's go look at what that thing was. Gorgeous husk. Corpulent husk encrusted with a shining metal retains the instinct to hoard Geo. There is beauty in many things. Reflections of light and water. The taste of freshly killed meat. Cry of a hatchling from its mother. I've never understood the lust for metals and stones, though. Wow. That lady dropped a lot of money. That's pretty awesome. I was like, I'm pretty sure that I hear someone else mumbling in there. I wasn't sure who. Uh, so, oh, this is what I was looking for, though. We did. Hi, Rio. Hi, kid. It's too welcome. How are you doing? Adore the simple lock. Yes, I will use my simple key. To enter the house with a sign that looks like me. Songstress Marissa. A voice to ease all burdens and still all troubled minds. Oh. That- Oh, you totally missed that? It was like one of the last enemies you found for your journal? Oh no! Also, wow, this is going really uppy. Oh, this is very uppy. Wait, what's going on here? Uh. Oh. The Pleasure House. Whoa. I will sit. He's very pretty, stingy lady. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, oh, is that what she meant last time? Hi, Goron, how are you doing today? Uh, we found a, a lovely ghost woman singing to us. She looks like a butterfly or a moth. Um... Oh, she speaks. Welcome to my stage, little one. I am Marissa, a songstress of some renown. Though given the sorry state of this place, you may find it hard to believe. Huge crowds once flocked to hear me sing. Then something changed. The audience, once so enwrapped, began to leave. I continued to sing, yet my voice fell silent upon their ears. Perhaps you'd care to listen to me sing. You'll be the first in an age to hear it. I'm 
it's so sad. She's on this stage. And there's so many flowers here, but they're all dead. singing so beautiful she has that dreamy stuff here but I don't want to hit her <laughs> like is it bad if I just want to like not use the dream nail on her what if she disappears forever sad I will visit you again Ooh, hey, there's a hot spring here. You can hear her singing in the distance. If you listen really close. And actually, her singing absolutely kind of goes with the Hot Springs music. Hano Knight says, I sit and think for a while. This is a really cool place. What's up? How you doing today? Um. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Hello. Okay, this goes to the elevator. Okay. I see. That's just another way to get to this side. Okay. Interesting. So I want to make sure I didn't miss anything here, though. Hey, Venomful. How are you doing today? Yeah, right now it's user, and we're doing some exploring. Um, last time I played, we got the double jump ability. So I'm just kind of looking around um, at different things we might be able to do. Okay, this goes to the elevator. I like this place. I live here now. <laughs> I live here now. Yeah, this place is the pleasure house. I just found this place, actually. Hey, Josh, how you doing? You're having a good night, Weasel. I'm glad to hear that. My day's been good. Thank you for asking. Yep, game finished. We live here now. I'm sure Hornet will be happy, because we're not letting out the other two dreamers. <laughs> Hey, Three Crows, how are you doing today?
Hey Randall, how are you doing today? I'm so torn on what to do. I kind of just want to leave her here. <laughs> I'm going to talk to her again. I'll see if she says anything else. Okay, she tells me the story that she did before. Is that it? Oh. Even if only you, it's a wonderful thing to have an audience again. It's so sad. Uh, yeah. Here is, well, here's all my charms. Various stuff that we have either found or bought. And then here's what I've got in my regular inventory. You're doing well, Free Crows. Oh, this is making you miss Hollow Knight. You got stuck and stopped. Oh. I mean, there's definitely some points in this game that can get pretty tough, but I believe in you, Free Crows. If you want to go back and play it again, I bet you can get unstuck. I mean, if you think about it, we're not really hurting her, because the Dream Eel's description is, allows the wielder to cut through the veil between dreams and waking, can be used to reveal hidden dreams or open gateways. The Dream Eel can collect essence, remnants of wishes, and dreams. So technically, if we use the Dream Nail and it happens to collect the remnants of her wishes and dreams, then wouldn't she always have an audience for singing because wouldn't she always be singing for us in the Dream Nail? I think that may be a hey Kafka fish. <laughs> or or just a hey Kafka fish in Rio Kajan, since you guys have both played like all the game. And I trust you very much. up to interpretation. You're comfortable saying that if you dream nail her, she will be gone forever. I kind of thought so. It's got nice music from a second ago besides this one. Oh, City of Tears? There's also the Soul Sanctum. That's the one with the organ battery. And then uh, Green Path also is really nice music. You made the same mistake on a different one, so you want to make sure I had all the info. Yeah, I, I appreciate it, Kepka. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's also the saves. Oh, the, yeah, the, the save zone music when we were in the hot springs. Thank you, Captain Rio. I guess I'm just torn because I don't know if I have the heart to make her disappear forever. But at the same time, like I mentioned, if we absorb the essence, of, like she's already gone. Her ghost is here mourning the loss of people listening to her voice. 
So it's like, aren't we kind of putting her to rest? Aren't we, in a sense, by taking her essence with us, always having her with us? Hi, SOG, how are you doing? Hey, Aggie, it's going well. How are you doing today? You got this, Three Crows. I believe in you. How do we know the dream nail makes her disappear forever or helps her rest? I don't know. Yeah, I think, uh, like Kepka said, it's it's more up, up to interpretation. They don't ever really say. Yeah, this is really more existential than I expected. <laughs> I can't say that I was really expecting to boot up Hollow Knight and within half an hour have to make a decision that physically it's quite easy. All I would have to do is walk away or hold Y. But mentally is not really that easy of a decision if you're really thinking about it. Plus, I mean, that's another thing, Power Chord, is if we leave her, we're leaving her back in that state of singing alone with no audience, which is what she's clearly sad about. <laughs> but if, but, but if we use the dream nails, she technically will never sing again. The only time she would ever sing again is within my own memory. Yeah, I'm not sure I can decide right now. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I have no idea if it's a good or a bad thing, which I think is kind of cool that they leave it up to you to decide. Oh, I would like to remind you guys that right now, I do not actually know what you get for collecting the 100 essences. I do not want to know. Um, right now I'm at 21, so I don't have very many. I think that I'm going to save this decision for later. Maybe we'll make the decision before the end of stream today, but I just... I just kind of... I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about this right now. I'll be back again. I wanted to see if I missed anything in this elevator shaft. I wanted to actually see if, uh, if there was anything in particular in these little side areas that you pass by. That, okay, that's good to know. Thank you, Kafka. Hello, Damester. Oh, I'm not, I'm not sure, um... I mean, I feel like Undertale is probably much more focused on being story-wise impactful. Oh, hey, there's money here. Um, but with that said, so far Hollow Knight has uh, has had some really nice moments in it. It's, um, yeah, I think they're just kind of different. Granted, like, I haven't finished this game. Um, I don't know when we will finish it. I haven't, I haven't decided that. Oh, hey, there's a side path there. But... If you like Metroidvanias, I can definitely recommend Hollow Knight. Oh! Hey, a secret. A Wanderer's Journal.
Okay. This is very interesting. Yeah, Undertale made me cry. Um, at one point in the game, without going to spoilers, at one point in the game, I was reading the dialogue out loud and I had to actually stop in the middle of reading it because I just started, like, crying. Like, for real, actually, tears coming out. Not, like, watery-eyed, sniffly, like, I need about four different tissues right now. <laughs> All right, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready to go to the resting grounds yet. And I think that's where the next dreamer is. Uh, what I'd actually like to do next... Um, what I'd like to do next is go back to the Crystal Peak Mine area. Because there is an uppy... If we look on the map here... There's some stuff up here that I could not access before, and I'm really curious what's up there. So I think that's what I'm gonna go for. Hi, Sleepy, how are you doing? It's good to see ya. You were pushed away from Undertale by all the hype and almost wrote it off as a bit silly, and then you played it and ugly cried. Oh, I definitely ugly cried playing Undertale. And, uh, it be it's honestly become one of my favorite games that I've ever played. Oh yeah, dang it, this is the wrong side. Up, oh. uppy. Oh, Valiant Hearts. I only got to, like, the first couple of chapters. I think I maybe finished chapter three, but what I did play of it was really good, Black Knight. It's, yeah, it, it's a very good game, Xylocider. I would say try to play Undertale as blind as you possibly can. Yeah, like, don't, don't Google anything if you can avoid it. Uh, it's one of those games that's just way better played having no idea what's in it. Yep, Mother 3 is on this year's JRPG list. Or in the Blind Forest made me cry too. That's another really good Metroidvania game. Although I feel like, I guess, I don't know. Ori has a little more platformer in it. Let's see. Um. Oh yeah, I guess we don't have a stag station to that one. Oh, but I think if I remember right, I can just... Yeah, I can get there from Dirtmouth now. That's probably the easiest way, because that's also pretty high up there. So let's go to Dirtmouth and we'll take the elevator. Yeah, I'm excited for Ori 2 as well. You wish Undertale were more turn-based? You suck at the fights. I was really bad at them, Black Knight. Oh shoot, I just realized I have a ton of money and I should go deposit it. Um, I was really bad at it, especially the first time I played it, because I just, I didn't, like, I didn't really do bullet hell type stuff. Um, but it's one of those where it may take a while, but you can get used to it. It just, it may take some time. It took me some time, but I eventually got it. Oh, yeah, we actually just finished Illusion of Gaia, Dave, sir. Um, that one, you can actually check out the VODs for. I want to see there's maybe five streams of that. <laughs> Tech Hi, Tech, how are you doing today? Oh, you got the card! Yay! That's awesome. I hope you liked it. I put some jokes in there this time. 
Well, a joke. All right, let me mark down. We have 2,500 geo in the bank. Excellent. Uh, oh, yeah, I haven't played Xenogears or Vagrant Story yet. On the 2019 list, anything that's highlighted in green, we've completed. Anything highlighted in gray is soon TM. Things highlighted in yellow are what we're playing right now, which is just soik it into. Yeah, To the Moon uh, also really got me. So did Final Fantasy X. Uh, I pretty much cry every single time I play Final Fantasy IX. Kind of why You Are Not Alone is my favorite. Oh, you just didn't have the reflexes for it. Oh, uh, were you playing with controller or keyboard by any chance, Black Knight? I, I felt like I had a bit easier of a time on keyboard. But I can totally understand. Oh yeah, I've um, I've heard that Horizon Zero Dawn's really good. I've seen a bit of it here and there, but I have not actually played it. Oh, NES controller. Okay, I had an easier time with keyboard, but I played it on PC. The Switch controller's not too bad for Undertale. I couldn't hear someone say the phrase, what else, for like six months, Dawn. Whoa. Hello, ghosty man. This is new. Have I not been by the graveyard since I got the dream now? I can't think of something punny to say, but hi, 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 hello, Bartlow. Hi, 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 hello. Shoda, thank you so much for 27 months. Welcome back. I appreciate that. Ding, ding. How are you doing today? It's good to see ya. Yeah, I've heard heavy rain um, is really good. Well, I've heard mixed things. I've heard some people say they loved heavy rain and it made them cry a bunch, and then other people not really get into it. Oh, yeah, I also, we we have talked about that, Sako. You and I have cried over the same things in Mass Effect 3, so I feel you there. I absolutely feel you. You're doing good, Shoda? Tired? Oh, because you've been missed up sleep schedule. But awake at the same time. You came here for the mustache, got disappointed. <laughs> Yeah, I don't regularly wear fake mustaches because, uh, quite frankly, they get itchy. <laughs> but if you want to see me wearing a fake mustache, you can check out the collections. I wore one for my entire evil playthrough of Fable, as well as that Moogle onesie. <laughs> or, I don't know, here. Here you go, Sleepy the Tired. Is that better? I will grant you your wish. <laughs> I hope that helps. You liked Heavy Rain? Never played a game before like that. It's unique. 10 out of 10. Yes! We're winning now. Um, yeah, I don't know if I've come by the graveyard since I since I got the dream nail, but uh, this guy's here now? Ah, oh, another wielding a weapon. I suppose you'll be leaving many a corpse in your wake. If you won't spare thought for the dead, at least consider all the extra work you force upon those in my profession. Do as you will, little wanderer. Cut a path towards your goal. I shouldn't complain. It's your kind that keeps folks like me in business. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So basically, I can absorb ghosts. What it looks like. Hi, Paul. How you doing? Alright, so, uh... 
We're back in Crystal Peak. Which I forgot. We gotta do... Th oh boy, I forgot about this actually. Effort required. Oh yeah, this is another one of these. Okay. Meow. Uppy. Ow. Collect. Ooh, King's Idol. Oh, that's new. A white idol depicting the King of Hollow Nest. The elusive king was worshipped through these idols. Relic from Hollow Nest's past. This item now holds little value except for those dedicated to the kingdom's history. Ahem. <clears throat> Enhance. Which I apparently do not have Hollow Knight on. <laughs> apparently I haven't enhanced on Hollow Knight at all. It's fine. You know what? It's totally fine. Please hold for the enhance because I came unprepared profession no the stream everything is fine don't panic it'll be here hey look there's hollow night you waited now enjoy uh yeah so enhance i'd like to point out notice the shape on the mask here Two big eyes, two small eyes. Look familiar, anybody? Look familiar? I, uh, I drew the faces of the three dreamers. Here. In my notes. Looks like this guy. You know what else looks like this guy? Coral's mask. You guys remember Coral? He's wearing a mask that looks just like that. And I know for a fact that that mask represents Monomon the teacher. Because, uh, you know, process of elimination. So. Take with that information what you will. But I think we're starting to piece together a potential mystery. And, 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 this says the elusive king. The elusive king of Hollow Nest. I'm starting to think Monomon might be the king. I want bench. Oh, wait. We need to go up here for that. Need more red string. Now that's stuck in my head. Again! Uh, life is beautiful. will be stuck in my head forever. Here's that bench that we won fair and square. Now, excuse me! While I climb uppy. Oh. Hello. Enraged Guardian. Oh, uh, did he just jump over my stuff? Okay. 
I was not really prepared for this. Okay, yeah, this sucks, dude! And he deals, like, double damage. Ooh. Okay. His attacks deal, like, two damage. Ow. Okay, then. Maybe not have to worry about getting my soul back for this. Obviously, something we're going to want to play with. Up. Oh. oh, no. better. Uh, except for I keep running into it. It's like if you jump too high, then it definitely doesn't help. him because of that giant crystal on his head. Hmm. There gotta be something better that I can do for that. I wonder if I can use Desolate Dive on him. in a crappy pattern. I didn't get to test my other thing. But it seems like going up is really not that great of an idea for this. Yeah, because, like, you can't do a regular down attack. So...
You jerk! I got too greedy. Can't do two shots. You can only get off one soul shot before he fires that. Insane man's wanted to. Hi, insane man. How you doing? Hey, Zirin. How are you? If Uppy's not working, what do we do? We gotta go more Uppy. Yeah, uh, it's all about like not how frick not getting greedy and not getting stuck in some dumb corner. bodied me for three. You know what? Hang on. Let me see. What other badges do I have? Um... Dude, that sucks because it costs three. Um, I'm gonna try this though. Where's that one that I bought? I'm gonna try this. It may not be a good idea, but we'll see. Oh, especially if I immediately get hit by all the lasers! Oh, frick! The pushback really sucks in this fight. Um, did I buy that thing? Yeah, I did. Okay. I, cause like by attacking, I pushed myself into that laser and I think I've done that before. Why did I do that? Oh no, you suck. to give us LASIK. Too bad we don't have eyes. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't go to a professional to get your LASIK.
It's kind of like how Angry Trees explained painting. Yeah, it's easy to paint. You just have to put the colors in the right places. <laughs> just, just stand in the right place. And then you'll be fine. And then you'll be saved. companion and join us in our quest for fun i appreciate that we did we did the thing with one health left that seems to be how a lot of fights in this game go for me you believed in the me the, the believed in me thank you balthazar oh so hurdy hello how are you hello uh okay let's get this back and no not that um this this Where's my other this? I need my explorer pack junior. Hey Hydro Comics, how you doing? Oh, I like that too, Don. I actually love the fact that you don't see their health. It makes it that much more exciting. Would you look at that? A mask piece. Excellent. Uh, can we... Wait, did we add that to the boss fight list? What was that guy's name? that there was a boss section. I don't even, wait, I don't even see him on here. No, well, that's even more terrifying, man. Oh no, if he's not on here, that means there's probably more of them. Like, we fought the Crystal Guardian. I think it was, like, Enraged. Yeah, Enraged Guardian. Oh, thanks, Alex. I'm glad you liked them. Thank you, Insane Man. I guess he just doesn't have a se separate entry. He was just an even angrier guardian. Ah. <sighs> Alright, well, that was one uppy. And now we have a lot of money again. Still more oppy. All right, uh, we have to go around and then oppy. here one time, but he is no longer here. He left. 
All right, let's try this other uppy. Maybe. If, if it will let us. Oh, I don't know if I can go this uppy. No, I don't think we can. Perhaps this other uppy? There's like a sideways. Maybe the sideways will eventually go to uppy. playing Hollow Knight. Nice. Have a good night, S. Mike. Thanks for joining us. Sleep well. Ooh, and you enjoy dinner, Poppy. Having round two on dinner, you made some chicken stir fry. That sounds delicious. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. There are little guys that are like the laser dude. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. no. All right, well, I know why I didn't come this way before now. It's got freaking lasers, man. Ow. I don't want a collection of Laser Boy Juniors. Nah, I'm, I'm good on the Laser Boy Juniors. My goodness. At least they're not sharks with laser beams attached to their heads, I guess. Drop pretty decent money. You caved and purchased Final Fantasy IX. <gasps> that one is my favorite. Wow, it takes two of those? Dang, man. There's some healthy boys. is so uppy. This is so uppy. Look at how uppy we are, bards. Oh my. Oh my. Oh dear. Oh, goodness. Goodness gee gracious. Oh, me. Oh, my. Oh, pelicans. Uh, I live in California. Ow. How do... How do you up you with spikes? <laughs> How do you up you with spikes? Eh? Eh? No, no. Why this again? I hate it. Why are you doing this to me, Hollow Knight? Oh, this also reminds me then there's definitely, um... Ooh, there's definitely one of those grubs that we can assist that I haven't gotten because it involved a bunch of spikes and I didn't know that that was how you were supposed to get to them. That's one way of doing it! <laughs> yes, it is! Oh my. 
eyes so uppy. Hallow nests crown. Okay. Um. Oh. This is a lot of glowing. This is a lot of glowing. This is a lot of glowing. I guess I'll inspect that. <gasps> oh, it's a pale ore. Yay! I'll be for the win. Now we only need one more of those and we can um we can upgrade again. Uh um <laughs> What's this? Oh, okay. Shortcut. I don't know if there was anything else I needed that direction. I probably should have checked. That would have been smart. I don't know, there's... Oh, there's stuff down here. There is things down here. Ow! Excuse me, Mr. Angry Bugman. Can you not? Oh, look at the pretties. <gasps> look at the pretties, look at the pretties. Oh, so pretty, oh, so pretty. Hey, look at a guy with a laser hand, and now he's dead. Uh, that's my second one. I've already turned in one, and we have the upgraded, uh... The first one you get for giving him one pale ore. Now I'm just missing one more for another upgrade. Oh no, I need up there. Have a good night, Randy. Thanks for joining us. Also, yeah, I don't know if that was the way I was supposed to do that, but it's the way I did it. Ha-ha! I fooled you. Look at me, I am the smart. Alright, we gotta go around Uppy for the other one. Yeah, I think this is just the base game. I don't think I've actually found any DLC yet. Or if I have, I haven't noticed. them all. Ow. Okay. That made a fun sound, like I collected everything. Ooh, we have 42 now. Hey, Anfan, how you doing? Also, I saw there's another entrance over there, so we're gonna try that one, because we haven't been to that down one. <gasps> oh, look at that! The tree grew! Light, light refracted, energy contained. Cool. Yeah, I would say I would agree with Kafka. It's tough but fair. Like there's, there's not, there's little to no things in Hollow Knight that just feel cheap if that makes sense <gasps> uh friend or foe let's find out <laughs> yay friend oops ow uh Okay. I 
I do not know how I am supposed to get back over here. double jump there that I'm just gonna get stabbed okay can I no I can't use this wall that sucks cool I am probably going to die of money. I hope I can get you back. doesn't spawn all the way back there. Maybe it'll be a little easier to get to. Yeah, I guess I still don't know what's over there. Huh. I can't tell if there's actually supposed to be more stuff in Helen S. Crown or not. You're doing good, Anne Fan. You watched a panel that was live streamed from the Star Wars celebration. Oh, cool! Yeah, I heard about there being a new Star Wars game coming out. People seemed quite excited about it. Ow, you stink, buddy. You found one of the DLCs by accident? <laughs> I've heard that happens pretty often, where people either will find the DLC by accident, or... Maybe they won't find it at all. Hey, Googly, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> Thank you. Now I don't have to do that again. I see another uppy. I don't know if I just missed that or if I can't go up that way. Let's find out. You're gonna get yourself some noms? Yeah! Yeah, you should get some food. Food is good. You're doing well. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah! I'm definitely having fun in Hollow Knight. Uh, last time we played, I got the double jump and a few other things. So I've just, at the moment, I've been kind of exploring, seeing what else I can go back for. If this is tough but fair, then what is Cuphead level of difficulty? Tough but not fair? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't played it. Maybe it's technically tough but fair, just like a different kind of tough. This is like Metroidvania tough. Also, I think my cat broke in here and is now looking out the window behind my green screen. Yeah, because I think that's where I fell from. If I remember right, and I can't get up there. Thank you. 
All right, well, you know what? I kind of want to see if I missed anything up there. Ooh, nice, Talons, have fun. A little different style, because one's a platform and the other's a bullet hell. Yeah, I like, for me, bullet hells are much more difficult. Bullet hell plus platform are even worse, because those are two things that are very much out of my wheelhouse. Metroidvanias have some platforming, but, like, enough where it's still doable for me. But it's mostly about exploring and learning and getting new abilities. you found a lot harder than Cuphead, but also a good deal less irritating. I totally, yeah, I totally did hear Luna. I hear her. Luna? What are you doing in here? What you doing? What you doing? Are you being curious about everything right now? Mm hmm I predict less than... Yep, I was gonna say I predict less than five seconds and she will jump out of my arms. <laughs> she doesn't stay for long. She doesn't stay for long. Isn't that right, Luna? Oh, did you want a little attention? Here, I'm just gonna open this door. Maybe your brother will fly in here too. We've we've had a parrot cam with no parrot for a while. He's just sitting on his other perch, like, hey. It's the kitty. He says, Hi mom, pet me, and I'll break the universe. It'll be fun. It is fun, isn't it? It is fun! Look at you. Ooh, I love Tinchi Muyo. Can make it into a cat cam. I don't think she'd fit on Ollie's perch. <laughs> Cats are a bit heavier than birds. She'll lay there, though. Hey, Archibald Tuttle. How you doing? So I guess that's what I was actually supposed to do. Instead of jumping on spikes like a crazy woman. for inevitable spike jumping that's gonna happen later. We've already had to have enough of our share of spike climbing, but I'm sure there will be more. So yeah, I came up here before, I got that item, and then I just jumped off to the left. I'm kind of curious. Um, do this. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. That 
jumped me down into that middle one. Okay. Okay. Well, then I think that's it. Sometimes doing things the hard way is more fun, right? Zach, how are you? And hi, Brian. How are you? Good to see you guys. I mean, I still mess up the down slash sometimes, but what I realized, Don, that's really helped me is that down slash, unlike, I, I tend to have trouble in games whenever you have to have precise timing because when I panic, I button mash. So I just had to kind of teach myself that down slashing to bounce off of things is all about patience. I just had to have patience. I guess we don't get to update the map there. Um... Well, I don't see any other uppy to go, so I think that might be it for Crystal Peak. All right, well, I, I guess we can move on. No, I didn't finish the crystallized mound. It was too frustrating, I gave up. I don't, I don't know if I wanna go back for it. But we do have double jump now, which might help. I don't, hey chat, I don't remember. What was the, what was the thing at Crystallized Mound that you had to do? I just don't remember what it actually was. I mean, yeah, I remember it was platforming it. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh. Yeah, we are better geared for it now because of the double jump. You know what? Screw it. Let's go try it. I remember now. The reason why I was having such a hard time and left is that they're the platforms that when you jump on them, a couple seconds later, they flip over to the crystal spikes. But the issue I was having is that uh, one of them... Also, I just kind of realized that I could probably down slash on them and maybe I could test to see if that works. Hello, Luna? Uh-uh. Nope. All right. It's time for the cat to leave. No. We're going to ruin the universe by tearing it apart. Yeah, no, anytime, so, <sighs> Luna sees her shadow on my green screen, Okami, and so sometimes she will try to play with her shadow, and by playing with it, um, she basically uses my green screen as a scratching post, and eventually, she's going to end up tearing a hole in it big enough to where I'm going to have to replace it, like, you can't, I don't think you can see them now, Luckily, because it's far enough away, but there are actually tiny little like pinprick sized holes in my green screen now from her. And I, I don't want to let her do that and risk it falling apart because I don't know how to ever, I don't have a replacement, so. <laughs> Hi, Irmar, how you doing? Okay, um, sorry, so what I was saying uh, is that we have a bit better of a chance, I think, doing this puzzle platforming thing now. Because last time... Last time we did not have 
what we have now, which is double jump. Oh yeah, frick, I forgot about that. But just, just let me pass, please. I don't wanna... I don't want to deal with you, Laser Town. I just want to... I just want to escape, please. I can't prove it was her. It could have been anybody with claws. Well, she's the only one with claws. on this bench and then we're gonna walk over and try that oh wait a minute wait 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 no we're not hang on hang on hang on hang on uh-uh we have a thousand geo i you know what instead of being the dumbest smart person in the world let's actually be a smart person and go to the bank and then come back here because if i lose a thousand geo i'm gonna be really upset actually can escape this way now. Ow! Oh gosh. Okay, this place is really bad. Ow! is really bad now um also i i would say hydro comics that that's kind of a spoiler but lucky for you i guess that that would probably be an item because i haven't found it yet being a smart streamer is an interesting for <laughs> Is readily are you saying that I want that you want me to lose a thousand geo? I'm heartbroken. Okay, let's go up to dirt. Oh wait, no, not dirt mouth. Although actually, I do want to go there to see if I can spend any of my money. No worries. No, I really didn't mean any harm at all, Hydro Comics. I just. I just wanted to let you know. I guess that was a thing. That's okay. I guess that that one was a thing because there were at least two areas that were super obvious that there was something there that I could only access by being able to swim through acid. <laughs> but oh, but just for future, like if there's anything else that you might have found in the game that I may not have um, to not mention, or if you're curious what I have found, please do feel free to ask if you can see my inventory at any time. I'm happy to show you guys. Losing your geo on the way back to the bank would be a bad look. I've almost done that before. Patamos geo. Patamos geo. <gasps> Patamos geo. Patamos geo. Not the most geo. I have uh, 2,500 in the bank, I think. Where did I write that down? I wrote it down. I did. I wrote it down. Yeah, I have 2,500. So we have... Okay. 
3,677. Oh, I don't know how much the other charms are. Okay, that costs 1500. I'm gonna go get my stuff from the bank. I changed my mind. We're not banking it, we're spending it. I have 2,500 Geo in the bank. So, that means I can go get it and I can buy the last mask piece that that guy has and I will have 8 HP instead of 7. True story. Um, that also means... Geo. Geo. I'm gonna make a trip um back into the infected crossroads to the lady that sells um charms geo kalala because i might maybe possibly be able to afford the last two charms she has there and buy the notch upgrade we're gonna find out hi shin hi landis how are you guys doing someone's geo daddy <laughs> We're no Geo Dude, we're Geo Daddy! But I absolutely want the uh, HP upgrade the most, so we're gonna get that first. You're doing good, Shin. I'm glad to hear that. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. And you're good. Oh man, you got angel food cake with strawberries and whipped cream. That sounds delicious. Oh, yeah! Freaking score, dude. Eight! 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 Eight HP. Oh! All right, I feel like I might not have quite enough money for the other thing that I want, but let's go find out. Uh, we want to go to the Forgotten Crossroads. Yeah, this is a Metroidvania for sure. Um, I do not know if there's a new game plus. I feel like probably. Let's see. Yeah, I want to go. Oh, dude, this is so annoying that we have to go around now. Inconvenient. Thank you for the pick, Randall. all the money I can on the way. Yeah, he's partying on his other perch right now, but... I'm sure he'll probably want back in here later. Uh, Angry Trees went out to run some errands, and usually when Angry Trees isn't home, Ollie really likes to sit on that other perch. This is so gross. Okay, 
I'm gonna collect all this money that I can. Darn exploding man. Darn you, exploding man! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see if we've got enough money. Yes, we do! Ha ha ha! I win. I win everything. I win everything. Now we only need six more charms for this one. Okay, uh, let's see. I need one more pale ore for this. <gasps> Betty! You spoony bard! And I'll come in with the raid while I'm cackling evilly about getting charms! <laughs> Betty, thank you so much for subscribing! Welcome, my name, my friend. Grab your very own mobile companion and join us in our quest for fun. Awesome, thank you for the raid! Hello, Betty Raiders! Welcome! Um, instead of me cackling like a maniac about Hollow Knight, here's a video welcoming you. I really hope that it doesn't scare you away. Welcome, Raiders. Hello. Hi there. My name is Spoonie. Uh, normally, sitting in this box over here to my right is my Congo African Grey Parrot, Ollie. Uh, he's currently sitting on a different perch. He'll be back later. I promise you, he is super adorable. He's probably the cutest thing. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, I'm Spoonie. I play a bunch of RPGs, uh, but on Saturdays, we play games for Side Quest Saturday. Uh, which essentially means that my subs get to vote on indie or retro games, short or medium length, and I play whatever one gets voted for until we beat it. And in this case, playing Hollow Knight. It's amazing! It's a really good game. <gasps> Chadra! Is it possible to make too many bug friends? No, I don't think that it is. <laughs> I don't think it's possible to make too many bug friends. Chadra, thank you so much for re-subbing for 26 months in a while. Welcome back. Ding, ding. How are you doing today? Hi, Necro. How are you? I got to scroll up to say hello. Look at all these wonderful people. I see Onimaru, Silent Soul Keeper, Aggie, Vitamin V. Banana Splitter, how you guys doing today? I don't know if, I'm, if I missed anyone else, feel free to say hi, or you can lurk, it's totally up to you. How you guys doing? Um, I just, I just bought a, a Charm Notch upgrade. It was pretty great. Also, Bards, you should go follow Biddy if you're not, because she's absolutely wonderful. <laughs> I love Biddy, she's great! We met at TwitchCon last year. And uh, we're gonna hang out at GDQ this year and go shopping. We're going to the mall. <laughs> she plays all kinds of games. Um, I think. Oh, oh man! <gasps> what did people end up voting for your next game? Oh wait, wait, wait! You're playing The Witcher Three right now, aren't you? I haven't played that one, but I saw you were gonna romance Yennefer. Which, by the way, I would like to say, as someone who has not played The Witcher Three whatsoever, but knows the two people you can romance. Yennefer's the best, okay? She's beautiful. I vote for Yennefer every time. <laughs> I vote Yennefer! Hey, 
vacation to Canada. How you doing? What about the other girl? I mean, she's she's fine. I just really like Jennifer. You're doing pretty good, Necro. You just got back from seeing Hellboy. It was pretty all right. Otherwise, just relaxing and taking advantage of not being overwhelmingly tired tonight. That sounds like a good Saturday to me. Yeah, the Moogle at the tab of the screen is uh, when we get a new follower. That one's been there for a while. It used to be on the bottom right, but whenever Halloween came around last year, Lid, uh, we had Bard Hype as a little Moogle vampire. So I was like, oh, vampires, it'd be cute to put the Moogle upside down. And then I just liked it so much that I left it upside down. Yay, so I have another notch. So... Mmm... We could be stinky. What's... Wait, what is... Let's see, what is this? Is this actually making me walk that faster? I, I'm gonna have to test it. How much faster is this really making me walk? Oh, okay. That seems actually somewhat significant. Okay, you know what? Let's equip that. That seems pretty nice. Printing! Those fighting words. <laughs> no, actually, but it's not those Sacco, because if I take Yennefer, then, then you can take the other girl, right? Anonymous, thank you for the 18 bitties. Oh, the banana bread is dead. Does that mean April's dead too? Also, I hope you're liking Witcher 3, Bitty. I wasn't sure, is that a first playthrough for you? Or have you played it before? That, that one's actually on my list to start this year. It's on sale? I do have it. I've just never played it. My husband and I actually tried to start playing it a long time ago, but, um, and we did. We played it for like, I don't know, four or five hours with me watching and him playing, and he just, he had a hard time getting into it. I think just because he's, he doesn't really play a lot of those kind of games, so it's like, well, all right, if you're not gonna play it, I'm gonna play it. I want me some adventure RPG side questing dating simulator. <laughs> also card games. Oh, it's like your fourth playthrough. It's so good. Cool. I also really love like Dragon Age and Mass Effect. So I think it's going to be up my alley. Oh, I'm really liking Hollow Knight so far. I love Metroidvanias. So Hollow Knight's been right up my alley too. Look at all that free money. All right, so let's see. Let's go back downstairs to... Well, you know what? I'm gonna kill this guy for the money first. Give me your money, please. Oh yeah, no, we need to go down. So, hey, we can take this guy's money too. Ow! No, I want your money, not, not... Oh gosh, don't explode on me. Ouchies. Oof, ouch. <laughs> Let's see what else I can buy. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I also just realized, Bards, we have so much money because I, I can sell these things. Uh, okay, so we have a bit of side questing before I decide what to do next. Used to live in RPGs, you just need to play stuff you can put down whenever now. Oh, so you haven't RPG'd much lately. Yeah, that's completely understandable. Like, honestly, if if I I stream full time, so if <sighs> I were, I would probably have a very difficult time being able to play RPGs. Um, in fact, before I started streaming, the thing I usually had the most trouble with would be I would get about halfway through an RPG and then I would get stuck somewhere. Then I would set it down, come back months later, and forget what I was doing, so I'd have to start over, so I just wouldn't. Oh, 
card games, but are they on motorcycles? No, but they are in taverns. Okay, I want to go... Is it... No, it's not Hidden Station. I think it's from King Station? I think so. Uh, I want to go to the guy that I can turn those relics into so I can get my money from them and then promptly put that money in the bank. Put that money in the bank. Yeah, I think it's just... Wait. Wait, no, because he was near the soul sanctum? Oh no, now I don't remember. Hey, chat! Um, this, I don't remember. Where is that guy that I can turn these uh, things into? I don't remember. Is it, oh, is this him here? Did I, did I put a pin over him? Oh wait, no, that's right. I bought the whispering thingies so I can uncover that. Oh, is he this guy? Okay, all right, all right. Thank you. I couldn't remember where he was. But I guess technically... He's probably closer to the other one, but... I guess he's probably technically closer to the city storerooms one. Because unfortunately the sewers doesn't have uh, a place for me to access that easily yet. I think the tram might go down there, but I haven't found um, whatever I need to actually use the tram yet. Now we go down. Hi, Nehru. How are you doing today? You saw a film today that should have an easy time making your top 10 worst of the year? Oh, no. It's called After, and it was a pretty bad romantic drama. Oh, that sucks, Lit. I'm sorry. Was that one that you were watching to review? as well bench since I'm here. We go down. Yeah, that's right. I just fall all the way down here. And then there's an elevator that should go all the way down, if I recall correctly. Oh yeah, I love the City of Tears music. It's probably my favorite. Yeah, here he is. Velmi Artred. Velmi Artred. <sighs> oh, Paul. The king's idol, eh? Hallowness King was an elusive figure defied, deified by the citizens. With the king rarely seen, worship was offered through these idols. There's an expert craft to them. Few alive could match this skill. Velmi Artred. Boris son? Gian. Hi, Goron. You heard this game didn't have a map? Oh, no, it does. Um, but, yeah, like Necro said, you actually build the map by buying it piece by piece. When you get to a new area, you won't have a map of it until you find Cornifer. When you do, you can purchase a map from him. And if you buy the quill from the map shop on the surface, every time you stay at a bench, it'll fill in parts of the map that you've explored. Velmi Artred. Also, hi, how are you? Warasun Gian. Velmi Artred. Man, Warasun I had a lot of these. Gian. Oh, in its declining age, the city switched from stone to parchment woven of spider silk. It's a small tragedy, but the moisture in these towers has rendered most of those texts illegible. Tell me, Oh, that sucks. 
Oh, Paul. Another Hollow Nest seal? Oh, yeah, I've read that about the five. Velmi Artrit. Velmi Artrit. The shop will be overflowing with those things soon. <laughs> I never guessed so many would still be lying around. If they're as common as you make them seem, maybe I've been offering too much for them? Helma Delka. No! I earned them fair and square, sir. Don't you start suddenly offering me less money. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. This game is amazing, Goran. I'm not sure where you've heard horror stories. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry you have, but this game freaking rules. There's only been one time that I've had to deal with not having a map for most of an area and that's basically just because i kind of went around a weird way but especially with um there's a charm called the wayward compass which is one of the first ones that you can buy from the store and it also makes it so on the map you can physically see where you are which is very nice I just realized I haven't been this way, but I guess that's probably for a reason. Yeah, because that gate's closed. And you're doing all right. You've been in and out of lurks. Oh, you came by earlier too? The, oh, the Giant Bomb podcast, they all complained about it? Well, I like it. <laughs> I mean, you know, everybody's, everybody's entitled to their own opinion about what makes a game enjoyable for them. And if that did make it less enjoyable for them, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I actually have thought that the map thing is really fun. Um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night is very similar in that uh, you don't have to purchase maps, but the map only appears as you explore it. And I feel that that's very much a traditional... It's like Hollow Knight took the traditional Metroidvania map and just put a tiny spin on it. Oh, also, I just realized that I am a very silly woman and I should definitely grab this uh, dream tree that's over here. Okay, well, I grabbed that one anyway. It works out. The big thing was needing a slot filled to track yourself on the map, which was a fair complaint, but they still loved it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I think that's fair. I, it seems like obviously it was the developer's choice to be that way. But it is nice that you can at least change charms at benches. So like Kefka and I were kind of talking about it. It's really nice to have a set of charms that you focus more on exploring with and a set of charms that you more focus on fighting bosses with. I mean, I, I guess that's fair fictitious account. I don't know if I am considered an average player or not. I have no idea. I've beaten a few Metroidvanias. Like, this isn't my first one. But I do feel like the game's very well done in the sense of if you keep trying and learning, then you'll get better at it and you'll, you should eventually be able to beat something. Or if you can't, you can probably check out another area, maybe collect some more things, and then come back to it.
You like the semi-auto map in Hollow Knight? You wish more games did it or allowed you more tricks with it. Same coup. Really? The only thing that I've had a complaint about Hollow Knight with so far is very, very minor. Um, the only thing that upset me was being able to go into Crystal Peak without the lantern. And then essentially getting stuck there because of the direction I decided to enter from. That was a little bit upsetting and it was... It took me a while to get good enough at the area to find something to escape, which was frustrating. But that's been my only complaint so far. And even then, I obviously still made it out of there. Oh yeah, I keep the charm attached all the time, Squeakeasy, unless I'm specifically fighting a boss. I keep it attached. Promised plenty, souls to serve, soul twisted. That doesn't sound creepy at all, Mr. Tree. Hey, Robin Coon, how you doing? This is totally eclipsed. Aria of Sorrow and Super Metroid is your favorite Metroidvania. It's that good. Yeah, I mean, for me, um, this is up there with Super Metroid and Castlevania Symphony of the Night because it's given me that same feeling of just super exciting exploration. And just, I, I always feel like I could turn a corner and there'll be something new there. And that's my favorite thing about Metroidvania is the controls are also really tight, uh, which makes for a much better Metroidvania. Because it means that when I am learning how to play, I don't have to worry about trying to compensate for controls that are a little looser. We have made more bug friends. We have. Oh, uh, okay. I know of a couple of places we need to go. So first off, um, I'm going to go dump my money at the bank. And then we have another grub friend that I know I might be able to go get. And then we're going to turn in the grub friends. And then we'll find somewhere else to go uppy. We have, I think, a few options. But I'm really happy about finding two more mask pieces so that we got an HP upgrade. Oh, Dung Defender is the best. <laughs> He's my absolute favorite Geo. boss so Geo. far, Pator. How you doing? Patamos, Geo. I agree. The game is hard, but it's fair. Yeah, I think I think Crystal Peak is probably the area that's given me the most trouble, Necro. Um, just because like all the spikes and lasers. Um, Soul Master so far has been the toughest boss fight for me. It took me about an hour and a half of fighting him to finally kill him. But at the same time, fighting him was really fun because I always felt like I was learning and improving. Really, Necro? Um, I mean, if you feel that way, that's totally fair. I haven't felt that way at all, personally. But then again, um, I don't know why, but I think it kind of has to do with why I like dungeon crawlers where you just go down. Like this is around, but also a lot of it from the top is down. So it's just like this constant like sideways and downwards exploration of things that I don't know why, but it really appeals to something in me. <gasps> All right, I do not recall where this guy was though. <sighs> I might, you know what? I might ask. Okay. Hey, chat. 
So, I know that there is one of those little grub guys here that I missed. It's that room that has the little blocks in the middle and there's spikes all around them on every side. And then at the very end is the, uh, is the grub guy. Does anybody remember where exactly that room is on the map? Because I do not. I don't remember. I don't... I didn't put a mark down that I don't think. You just spent so much time backtracking in your first file to try to find stuff? Ah. Yeah, I mean, that's fair, Necro. That's completely fair. I enjoy the backtracking, but I can see why it would be uh, a little old, like how it would get old for some folks after a while. Right side? Same level as the transit? Oh, so like in here? It's the room to the left of the tramway. Okay, cool. Yeah, it is that one. All right. Thank you, guys. Awesome. I'm going to go there. I'm going to see if I can jump on spikes to get this. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can cheese it with skill. So I guess that's not really cheesing it at all. Eleanor, how are you doing today? And hey, Imagine Boo, how are you? It's good to see you guys. Bonk. Okay, so... I'm gonna have to pogo pogo! Pogo, 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 bounce! Up! Down! Go! Out! Alright, it's mine. See you later. We got a friendo. Yeah! I, <laughs> I had that realization, Techie and Crystal Peak. Oh, uh, when I was going uppy. Because I did that to some of the crystal spikes and went, oh my god, I can go get that friendo. Thank you, Randall, for the 100 bits. We've reached the top! Alright, let's go back to the stag station. Because this will be faster. For some reason you kept thinking you needed a double jump for it, don't know why. I, originally when I got there, Balinor, I went, oh shoot, I have no idea how I'm supposed to do this. There must be something I can get where I can walk on spikes later, because they have that in, um, Symphony of the Night. Which, there could still be that later in the game, please no one tell me. Um, but I realized that, oh wait, I could bounce off that. When can we expect Dark Souls 3 playthrough? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's on my list to try. I never promised I'd beat it. <laughs> Thank you for the 500 bits level one scrub. I appreciate it. How are you doing today? Hey, Karax. I'm playing on PC uh, with a Xbox 360 controller. Oh, yeah. I took... I kind of spent all my money. Are you hoping to sneak a peek at my Mount No Geo? Well, it's mine now and fanny traded. Papa Sude. I, I love how you come back and he's like, yeah, you realize you bought everything for me, right? I'm super rich. Thanks for that. Uh, well, sometimes Dark Souls is unfair, but Dark Souls, I know, is also a lot about patience. Um, which I do feel I'm learning a bit from playing Hollow Knight. And, uh, it's on my list of games to try this year, because it's technically an RPG. 
And I know a lot of people have wanted me to try it. I tried the first one. Um, but I'm making no promises that I will beat it. And even still, I might praise the sun a lot and just like play it really casually, which I'm sure, I'm sure the people in the Dark Souls community will try to make fun of me for, but I really don't care. Hey chef, you thought Hollow Knight was harder than Dark Souls? Oh, you always thought that the main thing holding people back in Dark Souls games is just confidence because of its reputation. It does have a reputation of being incredibly difficult. Yay, money. No, look at all the friends. So many happy friends. Alrighty. Yeah, I'd say frustrating is probably a good word for it. And for me, Hollow Knight's rarely frustrating. Like, there are things that can be frustrating, but most of the time it's, I don't know. More, it feels more chill to me. Okay, I'm gonna go deposit this money that we have. More money. Potato chips, you booty barn. Potato chips, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome on in, my friend. Grab your very own Google companion and join us on our quest for fun. I appreciate that. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I think I think a lot of Dark Souls, like, it is difficult, it can be cruel, but I think it's also a lot about patience and persistence. And to be fair, if if Dark Souls just isn't your thing, that's completely okay. So what's up? How you doing? 99% of your deaths in this and Dark Souls were getting greedy and impatient. Oh, yeah. Like, pretty much all of my deaths in this game, Dawn, is, like, me being greedy or not being patient. Which is why when I fought Soul Master, if you go back in the, the VOD or the highlight... Where's the bank lady? Are you serious? Hello? Did you effing rob me? What is this? I had almost three thousand geo in that bank.
that's the end of our hunt for the three dreamers. And now the only thing that I want to do is find Bank Grandma and stab her to death. Because you know what? F you, Grandma. I don't even know what to do, man. That ruined my entire plan. This ruined my entire plan. I, I, I will find you, Grandma. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you've gone. If you want money... Well, you took all mine, so I don't have any. In before Bank Lady Vengeance. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. A set of skills I've acquired over a lifetime. If you return my money now, I will walk away. But if you don't, I will hunt you down. We'll find you. And I will kill you, Grandma. totally honest this is where i would be incredibly incredibly salty luckily for me i had already bought a lot of things that i wanted to buy um technically the only thing that i have left to buy is the charm upgrade uh there's one last charm upgrade from the, la the charm lady Also, I'm not convinced that I won't see her again. Millibel was in it for the long con. She waited until you had a lot of money. Bard called. She sure did. She sure did. So money, thank you for 14 months earlier, Goran. Thank you for the 600 bits and pay to her. Thank you for 13 months. Welcome back. I hope you continue to enjoy joining us in our quest for vengeance. Many dings. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Grandma. <laughs> Dude, I feel so debated right now. Um, I don't remember what kind of bug grandma was. I don't remember what kind of bug grandma was. It wasn't a grub, I don't think. It's just weird, because I don't know. It happened after I did this. But I also don't think that I had ever deposited more than 2,500. So I wonder if that's what triggered it, is that I had deposited more than 2,500 geo. Uh, I'm not really asking, by the way. I'm just kind of thinking out loud. Kefka, I don't want to take a break. I want vengeance on grandma. <laughs> Give you nice old lady strawberry 
me candy, not steal your life savings. <laughs> A near death. I'd like to file a bug report. <laughs> I also I literally don't remember what I was saying when when we were rudely interrupted by grandma disappearing. Also not you hurdy. You're fine, but it, do you know all the other grandmas in the world? Can you like call a grandma convention so we can find the one that stole my money? I was talking about patience. Oh! <laughs> of course, I'd be talking about patience and like, you know, not letting yourself get salty over, over dying and stuff. And then grandma steals my money. Geo Kalala my ass. You know what? I'm taking your soul. Done with this. Take her to grandma court. <laughs> In today's episode, Spoonie takes a grandma to court over stealing her life savings! Da -da 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 -da. This is the People's Court! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's okay, Squeak Easy, it's okay. Really, really, like in all seriousness, like I'm bummed. But considering how much money we can uh, make off of uh, killing other stuff now, I'm really okay. <laughs> Just, um, yeah. Don't deposit a lot of money into the grandma bank and you should be fine. <laughs> From the format, thank you for continuing your gift sub. I appreciate that. How are you doing? Yeah. You know what would be really convenient? If grandma got... <laughs> Hi! You know, because I'm a... Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Damn you, grandma. <laughs> Thank you for the twenty dollar tip. I appreciate that. Thank you for your co contribution to returning my life savings that Grandma stole. <laughs> I appreciate you. I <laughs> I was gonna say what would be really convenient if she got run over by a reindeer and we could sing a song about it. You're doing great. I'm glad to hear that, poor guy. All right. Uh, I guess from now on, we're just going to have to spend all of our money. Which means I guess I should <sighs> spend what Bafanata. I have. Bafanata. No, 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 no. I, I wouldn't have wanted you to warn me, Zyla. It's a sucky thing, but this is the price I pay for playing things blind. And honestly, I don't mind, because again, like, it's it's sucky that it that is all my money's gone. It's 
also really funny. <laughs> it's also really funny. <laughs> she just, she just fucking runs off in the store. The store just flops over like it's made of cardboard, and then you walk back towards the exit, and the bank sign just thunk. You know, I think that's probably the only time a game's ever trolled me in a somewhat mean manner. That instead of getting upset, I just, I just kind of laughed. <laughs> Thank you, TJCB. I really appreciate that. How are you doing today? It's great to see you. The paint on the sign out. Was it kind of runny? Oh my gosh. I didn't even notice. Now I want to go look. Okay, now we're going to go look, Balthazar. I think you're right. I think you're totally right. Let's go look. So, but okay, like I said, she vanished. But dude, she's she's gotta be down here somewhere. I'ma find her. How's this rando doing? Still good? Yeah, Willow's still good, okay. Hey kiddo, yeah, yeah, we're gonna be playing more so we get into on Wednesday. <laughs> My life has been enriched by your mirth and welcoming community. Thanks for being cool. Ah, no, you! Thank you for being cool, Chef, and thank you for the 150 bits. I appreciate that. Yeah, you're right. See, I just kind of took it as like, I don't know, that that was part of the sign, but look at this. <laughs> look at this, look at this, look at this. Enhance. Where, where'd it go? Check this sign out. You're totally right, Belf. It looks like the sign is dripping like it was painted hastily. You're totally right. I did not even, like, I think I, I noticed it, but I didn't consciously make the connection of like, oh, that looks shady. And then it's so funny, this sign fell over and then her whole thing just fell over. Oh, you didn't notice it either until you got your baited too. <laughs> it really was genuinely funny to you, Dawn, even though you just deposited, oh man, 4K in one go. Dang. Now I'm kind of curious. Um, Hey, chat. Does that happen based on the amount of money you deposit to her? It does? Okay, I thought so. I thought so. Oh, 2,550 or more. Oh, and she vanishes. Oh. Yup, yeah, so I was right. I said out loud earlier, I was like, man, I think that's the first time I've ever deposited more than 2,500. So I wonder if that's what did it, and yup. Okay, so. For those of you who uh, don't like that, just don't deposit more than 2,500. <laughs> oh man, oh my gosh, you're right, Dawn. I was so close to depositing my money and then I chose to buy the mask shard instead. Dude, see that I think I would have been more sad. But luckily, I had just spent uh, all my money on all the stuff I can currently buy. Did I ever rage quit a game? Oh, like after a game trolled me? Um, Probably? I feel like probably, but I can't think of any offhand. Hey, Silverflame, how are you doing today? 
Oh, you definitely thought the sign had little ghost painted on it, not a drippy geo symbol. Same, like I, I couldn't really tell what the symbol meant. Push it to the limit. All right, now I gotta decide where else I wanna go. I'm still gonna find you, Grandma. Let's see, there's the resting grounds up there. That's probably gonna, yeah, that's probably gonna lead to uh, that right there. Let's see, where else can we maybe go uppy? Oh, actually, no, it's probably down there that's that uppy. Uh, not ancient basin. We did everything in Deep Nest I think we can do. I'm not sure I can go down there yet. Or maybe I can. Maybe that was a place with a place. A place with a place. Place with a place. Good wording. I think that might be a spot where I marked that you can break the floor. Oh, I can remove that one. Um... Yeah, I'm kind of out. I'm kind of running out of side questy options. But I'm thinking maybe we will go do this in Deep Nest. I kind of want to see what's there. So, uh, yeah. Oh, plus there's a tree down there. And, oh, there is an uppy path right here. So let's go back to, uh, let's go back to Deep Nest. That's true. I did laugh when I played Super Metroid and there's that long hallway and at the end of it, there's a super missile. And when you run across it, the floor breaks under you and you drop down into this pit. <laughs> I laughed super hard when that happened. We're kind of going downy and then uppy, I guess. Okay, you know what? Kef, you're probably right though. I should probably take a little break before we do this. Maybe I should take a small break. Also, my cat's back here playing with her toy. Luna, you're so cute. Okay, we've been live for, I don't know, like three and a half hours. Uh, just as a reminder, we do have the bonus counter active today, so we're only three new or gifted subs away from adding an additional hour to stream. Uh, but right now I'm gonna take like a 10 minute break. Um, I'm gonna take like a 10 minute break. And I'm gonna stretch my legs, make myself a cup of tea. When we return, uh, we're gonna go through Deep Nest Oh yeah, oh, this is also the wrong one entirely. Hang on. This is the wrong one. Wrong station. <laughs> wrong station. Um, we're gonna... Oh, there's no bench here, whatevs. We're gonna go uppy past the distant village there and see what it's like. And then once we go through this stuff, I guess... That's what we have next is um, heading uppy in some direction related to the next dreamer. So I guess we're going to find out what that is. Whoops. Oh, well. You no, know, I don't think that makes you a bad person, Sweet Easy. I mean, I'm sorry that it upsets you that much. I just meant, like, don't worry too much about, like, me. Like, I'm all right. I'll be okay. But, uh... I would say, like, if that makes you not want to play Hollow Knight, that's okay. Then then maybe not, because, you know, you don't want to do stuff that makes you upset. Oh, it's just, I'm really persistent, so even when I don't find it, I look like the kind of person who would just keep going. I think it depends. Like, if I'm truly enjoying a game, Ronin, then I usually get pretty determined. Like, when I played Ori in the Blind Forest, the first big escape section, I spent two hours 
going through that over and over and over and refusing to ask anyone for help because I knew that I kept getting better at it and I was determined to just do it. And sure, there were times where I was like, man, like, this is really frustrating. Like, I could just quit, but I loved Ori and the Blind Forest so much and I wanted to see what happened and I wanted to get past it that I just didn't. I didn't ask for help and I just kept going. My hands hurt from playing that, le that level, but I eventually got it and it was worth it. Um, that highlight is still around of, of me finally making it past that area. And, you know, granted, I still do, I ask for help sometimes if it gets to the point where it's like frustrating, but I don't feel like I'm making progress and I don't feel like it's gonna add to my sense of enjoyment to keep pushing it. Um, but I, I'm usually pretty stubborn. <laughs> I'm a very stubborn person. Hey, Tabitax. Oh yeah, also, I agree. Uh, I actually do find it really cool that there's a whole civilization lost to time that we're just exploring. That's part of the appeal of this game to me. Yeah, and there was a lot of hype uh, whenever I finally did it. It was really cool. Hey, Jessica, how are you doing today? It's good to see ya. Yeah, I think it depends on the game for me. Depends on the game. Usually, you, you'll probably notice. There are some things that I will ask for assistance over much more quickly than others because it just won't be as fun to do it on my own if I'm getting too frustrated. Hollow Knights, um, so far, is one of those that I really only like to ask for, like, hey, I forgot where this thing is that we found before, and I don't want to wander for 20 minutes. <laughs> but if it's, like, a boss fight, I much prefer to go through the effort of figuring it out myself and getting better, and then just, like, the feeling of succeeding at it is pretty great. Uh, I used to play a lot of games on easy modes, and I think it was mostly just that I... I didn't think that I was capable of beating them. Um, and so I felt like I needed assistance by putting it on easy. And I was worried that I would get stuck and too frustrated and quit. But honestly, I feel like streaming games has actually made me more determined. Uh, in fact, funny enough, Undertale. I played Undertale about six months into streaming and that game took every ounce of determination I had because I don't play bullet hells. But I loved Undertale so much that I absolutely refused to quit. And that game made me so much better at just being patient and determined. And so many other games that I've streamed have just added more and more to that. Aw, thank you, Koo. Yeah, I like that it's more abstract, Zyla. Like, actually, when I started a new playthrough um, uh, of this uh, off stream, some of the things at the beginning of the game, by going through them again, sort of refreshed my memory and made me realize, oh, wait, maybe that does connect to the story in, like, X way. Hi, sis. How are you doing? It's good to see ya. Oh, well... For one thing, Bard Core in here, Speakeasy, isn't like a watching you fail. It's like a genuine. For us, Bard Corn is an emote that represents watching and enjoying. Like, hello, I am here and I am very engaged in what you're doing, but I'm not going to say anything to spoil it. Like, this is really entertaining and I'm here to watch. It's not like a judging thing at all. Um, and I mean, to be totally honest, if somebody is gonna come in here and like try to make fun of me or mock me for failing in a game, I'm just gonna ban them. <laughs> like, if I don't do it and one of the mods will get them first. Cause we're here to, to raise each other up and enjoy games, you know? I'm not here to like be the best person who's ever played a game. I'm mediocre at a lot of games and I get better over time but we're about PMA and having fun and persevering so it's pretty rare when people come in and are like completely against that but they 
They usually leave pretty fast. <laughs> Undertale didn't work for you? you f oh, no. Did you get the overheight knee belong? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, I think that's definitely... There are a lot of games that, unfortunately, if you get too much hype, you just won't enjoy it as much. You know what's funny? Uh, my, bi my biggest example for that for me is a movie. Um, Avatar, the James Cameron's Avatar, was so hyped by everyone that when I went to see it, I just went, meh. Like, I feel mediocre about James Cameron's Avatar, and I know a bunch of people that absolutely adore that movie. Uh, you know, it made a crap ton of money in the box office, and I just, I ended up feeling mad about it because it got so overhyped. So that's actually another reason, for example, why I tend to, like, not watch trailers or... Um, I'll ask folks like, hey, like, I know you might be really excited for a certain part, but please try to avoid, like, uh, foreshadowing or, like, saying, ooh, I, you know, this is the best part coming up or something, because that setting up the expectation will end up making me like it less. Oh, for you, is Dark Souls heavy. It helped you develop really big patience. Yeah, exactly here. We're all just here to have fun. Yeah, and that's also true. Like, there, there are a bunch of different streams on Twitch, Don, and if somebody comes in and what they're looking for is, like, an MLG, like, this person is super, super crazy good at video games and they're all about being really good, there are definitely streamers out there that fit that exact criteria. And I, I always welcome people, like... If you don't like it here, like, if this isn't really your thing, like, that's totally okay. My stream's not gonna be everyone's thing, but I would much rather somebody who doesn't really truly enjoy the stream and the community here to leave and find a place that they do enjoy rather than just kind of settle. I don't know if that makes any sense. I just want people to have fun and enjoy Twitch because that's what it's about is it's entertainment, so. Didn't the Avatar game go under the radar for a lot of people, though? Wait, is there an Avatar game? Was it based on the movie? <laughs> oh, you've never seen Avatar because it got so hyped. Yeah, that happens to me too, Balthazar. Sometimes things will be so hyped that I'll just have to avoid them for a while. Like, that that's what happened to me with Kingdom Hearts 3. There was so much hype around it that I felt like if I played it right as it came out, I wouldn't really be able to enjoy it. And then I would feel bad not enjoying it because so many people out there were so excited because they've been waiting forever for this game. And like, I didn't feel like I could do that to people. So that's why I was like, no, I'm, I'm just gonna wait until things have settled and like I can personally be hyped <clears throat> about playing it. I just described you, Zach, and only for getting... Oh, the getting better part. Hey, I'm still perfectly mediocre at a lot of things. <laughs> That's okay, too. Aw, thanks, Shin. No, oh, did you get... Oh, no, did you get it spoiled for you, Hydra Comics? I'm sorry, man. That does suck. What are those grunts? Oh, that's just the, the stag. He's friendly. Oh yeah, Breath of the Wild was a game that I somehow managed to hear hype about, but still, oh, oops, sorry. Still absolutely love. Oh, thank you, Tevi. <laughs> That's really, really kind of you to say. And like, honestly, um, I'm glad, man. If we can be here to help in any minor way, I'm glad. Kind of what bards are for is uh, bolstering. So we're here. Oh, I love the stag beetle. He's cute. 
He's a cutie. That's also true, Techie. Breath of the Wild um, probably has a little bit of immunity because you can just kind of go and do whatever you want. Oh, it's really too bad Avatar was just Fern Gully in space. Maybe that's why, too, Ashnax. I saw Fern Gully when I was younger, and I love that movie, so. Also, hi, how you doing? Hang on. There's... There's a bug. Okay. I was gonna take a break, and then I got distracted. <laughs> I was gonna take a break and then I got distracted, so. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go make some tea. But it was a good distraction. It's always a good distraction here. Um, I'll be back. I mean, you guys feel free to keep chatting about movies and stuff. And I'll just catch up on it when I return. <laughs> That's true, Tim Curry's not an avatar. We'll put him in in post. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make myself some tea. I'll be back. Uh, I'll be back as fast as I can. Probably still like seven to ten minutes, so, um, don't go too far. More video games coming very, very soon. Potentially, uh, well, let's see. By the time I get back, at least two hours, maybe three. Don't go too far. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out.
right, bards. I am back. Thank you so much for waiting. I hope you guys had a nice little break there, too. Boosh! Hi! I'm back. Also, Ollie says hi. Hello, Ollie. Angry Trees just got home, so he's like, Oh my gosh! Dad's home? I hear him! What? The grunting stag friend returns. What's up, Ollie? Aw, are you excited? What is it, little buddy? He's like, I hear someone is home and I, I must see them. Hang on. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Angry Trees just got home right as I sat down. Um, so I'm just going to show Ollie that Angry Trees is home and it's not a stranger who's come to murder us. Because birds are silly. <laughs> Okay, I've now shown Ollie that the person who came home was, in fact, Angry Trees. <laughs> Although now, oh gosh, Ollie, now do you just want to go hang out out there again? You goofball, you haven't hung out with me all day. <laughs> He's like, Mom. Hi, Cypher, how are you doing today? Also, thank you guys for the welcome back. Silly Ollie. You're so silly, Ollie. You're such a silly bird. You are so silly. You are so silly. Bop. <gasps> Yo, I just realized this is also down. Bards. There is also very down. There is also very down. How did I not notice this before? I think we must go down before we go uppy. I think we need to go down before we go uppy. It's reverse uppy! <laughs> Inverted Uppy! Just pretend it's the inverted castle and everything will be fine. Hey, Angry Trees. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think he wants out there with you. You silly goose, what are you doing? <laughs> Thank you, Angry Trees. I love you! Okay. He'll be, he'll be back later. <laughs> Ollie wants to spend time with his dad. I promise. How are you doing? Let's go reverse uppy. Oh, hey, there's water over here. Ooh, this is kind of gross looking. Ugh. Oh, also, thank you, sis. Uh, it's a very gross area, and it's unfortunate that we must return because I. What are you doing here? Limarma, you feel in? Hello, midwife. 
That actually jump scared me. <laughs> that actually jump scared me because she looks like no face. Hi, foreigner. Yeah, they're they're being relatively friendly. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, batter. Yes, welcome to the addiction. <laughs> Hi, Daz. How are you doing today? Oh, please. Please. Don't be shy. There are some nasties about here, all right? Not me. Mas! I still keep forgetting to change that back to not normal. Anonymous, thank you for gifting a 19 month resub to Battery. I hope you enjoy those emotes, as usual. You have to not sit down until you beat this one because it's slightly longer than the other ones you've done that with. Oh, yeah, the one from Spirited Away. Uh, not from Last Airbender, from Spirited Away. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, please, please, don't be shy. There are some nasties about here, all right? Not me. I'm a friend to all, and happy to serve a traveler so bold as you. Is it information you seek? That I can provide? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> that village above here, home to a sad creature. Hers is a tale of tragic exchange. Cost her and her people greatly, though I suspect she bore no regret. In making it. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. You're intrigued. You want to know the tale. Well, I'm sorry. I'd love to tell it, but I'm just. I'm very. Very sorry. And I haven't eaten in some time. And oh, I'm starving. Book! Nice. We met a lady and she tried to eat our face. <laughs> you usually lurk, Kiki Reader, but you had to come out and say you're totally not creeped out. You are just. Hey, Kiki, how you doing? Also, can someone sell it? tell Wisp that it's safe? Someone please tell Wisp that it's saved. Thank you, Das. I excel in that particular voice. Maybe hang out with her for dinner? I think she might want us over for dinner, that's for sure.
Okay. Okay, apparently that's some kind of like roundabouty thing. I'm doing great. How are you doing? <laughs> hey, Phoenix King. How you doing? Oh, oh, you unmuted after you tried to taste me. Okay, I was just like, someone please, like, it's okay. It's okay. The scary lady's gone away. <laughs> I will also, I will, I will take that as a compliment. Thank you, Balthazar. Um, all right. I guess, uh... I don't know, whatever. Let's just go this way. Let's go to where the dream tree thing is. I'm sorry, Okami. I'm I'm sorry, I'm really good at that one. Oh. Almost got hit by those spikes. Also, I like how just like some of the other really scary uh, things earlier, like those those like fake spiders that tried to tell us like, oh, like, hello, do come in. Oh, yes, yes, sit, rest. Um, just like them, she was freaking full of it, dude. Just like them, she was full of it. Whoa! I don't think, uh... Yeah, I don't need to go this way for that. Hey, Sugin, what's up? How are you doing today? Are you just very tired? Oh, no worries, man. I hope you get some rest soon. I hope you had a good time hanging out with your cousins. Wait, how did I miss this before? Is this real? Oh. Well, color me surprised. Spiders just want to be our friends, Battery. The spiders want to be your friend. Don't you want to be their friend, too? Man, okay, there's a lot of these. How about no, no thanks, you're good? <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I guess I did have to come around this way. What color this surprise actually is? Wait, what is that? What, what does that mean, Chaos? See, now I'm not nearly as unnerved by all of this. <laughs> it was incredibly freaky the first time. Now it's slightly less freaky. Oh, no, 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 no. Silverfish are so awful. Thanks, Phoenix King. I'm glad you like it. Uh, dude, how have I still not collected all of these? I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to go up here, aren't I? Oh, oh, but. Hmm. I think I need to do that first. Yeah, they're like house centipedes, but they can bite. According to psychology, colors can invoke certain feelings. Oh, oh okay. All right. So you mean like what color might invoke the feeling of surprise? I don't know. Great question. Aha! I just realized, yeah, I could totally do that instead, and that would work out a lot better. Oh no, but if I go up E, then that leads. Um, I don't mind spiders. To a degree. Like, it very much depends on what type of spider. And where I'm finding said spider. Oh, also, I just realized it's, uh, I can remove that, because that was there to mark that tree, and... Ow! Whoops. Now I have a thing to mark them. Yeah, it's still not done. What is going on? I'm obviously missing some somewhere. Whoa, whoa. I'm not sure where I am missing any, though. But obviously there has to be a spot I haven't fully gotten them for. I mean, I guess um, there was an area somewhere that hadn't actually killed the spider. I hadn't killed the big spider. Yeah, that's the exit. You have baddish arachnophobia, so you gotta do what you can, which usually means busting out the vacuum for spider disposal. Well, yeah, I mean, like, having arachnophobia is definitely something different. Cause, like, say you don't really have any control over, best to just, like, do what you can. Came back up here. Oh, I guess I... Maybe have it. Ah! 
Aha! There it was. There was the last one. We got it! That was scary. Oh, wasps are awful though. I hate wasps, so I feel you there. All right, let's go uppy, I guess. Let's go uppy. We haven't been this way, so why not? Oh, I think I maybe haven't been this way because there's freaking spikes everywhere. And I thought it was awful. Do I have a favorite boss fight this far? Yes! Dung Defender. <laughs> Dung Defender for best boss. Oh! Hi! Was not expecting two of those. That one glitched you. Oh, frick. I didn't notice it's one of those charging ones. Eh. Yucky. Eh. Eh. Hornet's also a really good fight. Uh, I also really liked the... Um, the Mantis Lords, and I feel like Soul Master uh, definitely improved my skill in the game a lot. Okay, what is this? Other than more effing spiders. Like a break in the wall over here. Hello. Mask maker. Mm, is it mask or face upon the creature? In hollowness, a difficult thing it can be to decipher. A wonderful thing to have, a face. Not a thing with which we all are blessed. For this kingdom's faceless, I shall provide. A mask, a face. Does it need one? Does it not? Who to find? To focus? Who exists? Hmm. Well, I guess that really is an existential question. Do you need a face to exist? Yeah, one one arm he's painting and the other he's carving. Um, 
Okay, this kind of looks like a dead end. Other than that guy. Also, whether what we have is a mask or a face, I don't know. We did beat the enraged gu uh, enraged guardian earlier, Dast. I haven't gotten any new abilities yet, but uh, I have gotten like three of the grub guys. We had our money stolen by Grandma the banker, so that's fun. We also uh, did get another couple of mask pieces, so we got an upgrade to HP. Um, I think, I think this is it? I find it interesting that there's greenery up here. I guess because the fungal wastes are above this. That's really interesting. Please. My bad. Okay, Whimsy Sleepla, thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Yeah, I finally found out about the uh the banker lady. I sure did, Snowman. I had deposited 2700 Geo and I came back uh to deposit more, and she was gone. She was gone. Ah! Boss! Thank you, Anonymous, for gifting a sub to Geeky Reader. Welcome on in. I hope you enjoy those lovely emotes. So I so sorry. I gotta scroll back up because I missed, I missed what you said, Jaded. You've come to the conclusion you're slowly going insane. I mean, to be fair, is Annie's a little overrated? A bit overrated, in my opinion. But I mean, nothing wrong with being chatty. Chatty is a okay. Thank you, Anonymous, for gifting out a sub to Weasel the Wolf. Please, I hope you enjoy those emails, and thank you, Anonymous, for the kindness. Also, hey, guess what, boys? We hit eight out of eight subs, and you know what that means? We get a bonus hour. We're going to play Hollow Knight for an extra hour. We're going to go uppy. Oh, so very uppy. Thank you guys for all the support today. I really appreciate it. Uh, oh, 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 also, 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 uh, we can upgrade the dream nail. Okay, uh, there's a few other places that I want to explore here. So we'll go there first. I want to kind of finish out exploring the rest of Deep Nest that we missed. And then we will uh, continue on and go to some other areas. Oh, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. I finally figured out these giant spiders.
You have an interview Monday. Oh, for a position that would currently double your income. That's awesome. I mean, hopefully not like too much of a cost of free time. But that sounds like an exciting opportunity if you want it. If only we weren't level two characters having to engineer a way to kill a mind flare. Oh no! Did you guys run into a mind flare in your D and D snowman? That's uh, that's always sufficiently scary. Um. Oh man, I gotta decide which one of these I want to go after first. I guess we'll go to the right. Oh wow, those are spikes on the ceiling. How friendly. Oh no, we made our goal for the night, says Koo. Oh no, I guess we have another hour of Hollow Night. Darn. I know, Koo. It's such a travesty, right? Darn. Another hour of having fun? That sounds like the worst. <laughs> Darn. Oh yeah, don't forget, everything in deepness turns creepy. So you better run while you can. Ow. Hey, Observer, how are you doing today? Ooh, look, money. You ran into it before, but the Blackstaff said you've been helping so much around town that now she knows there's a Mind Flayer doing stuff? If by some miracle you kill it, she'll upgrade you to Forged Grey members on the spot. Oh, and she's letting you guys borrow some magic items. Well, that sounds cool. Oh, hey, look who it is! Look who we found, bards! Look who got himself into trouble again! Goodness me, this situation looks familiar. Although figuring out how to get over there is gonna be real interesting. I think it might actually be the other way I was going. Hello, Zoat the Mighty! Extreme emphasis on Mighty. This is so creepy that it comes back as a freaky spider, man. Oh. Oh, man, I thought... Oh, what's going on? Why am I smashing and it's making the sound like it's going to let me... Why? Why are you doing that to me? Okay, that leads. Wait, how do I? Ah, ah. Um. Oh, 
there's another entrance. Okay. Ah, hey! Rude, I thought you were dead. All right, there's another entrance to get to Zote, so we can't help him from here. We gotta go around. Oh yeah, there's a bench here. <laughs> hey, look at that! We're actually kind of close to a bench, so that's... That's actually pretty nice. Let's uh, have a nice little sit down at this bench with all these dead people. Why are we helping him? Because I'm a sucker. <laughs> Let's face it, I'm a sucker, Yaiba. I see someone in trouble in a video game and I have to help them. All right, well... I think we need to go around to the left. Oh, this was the other bench that you and Rio almost took me to before. Makes sense. Ah! Skater, 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 skater. Everybody's coming back to life. What a nice paradise. Mmm, yeah, I love me some creepy undead spider bugs. Oh, boy. Oh, that guy, ow, rude. Excuse me. Um. Oh. Oh, okay. I get it now. Oh, also, there's a shiny down here. Oh, look, a king's idol. To replace the one that I so haphazardly sold and gave to that bank lady. Hi, Zote. Need some help, bud? Oi, what are you doing, you clumsy little oaf? Swinging your rusty little nail around in the darkness? You almost struck me, and if you had, it would have been the end of you. Trust me, I am Zope, the mighty, a knight of great renown. My weapon, the Life Ender, has struck down hundreds of foes. Be gone, or you'll be next. Huh? Are you lost in these dark tunnels? I don't care. No, I won't lead you out. I know the way due to my powerful memory, but I only travel alone. Be gone. You're welcome. You're welcome, Zote. You meanie. All right, I'm gonna go around to the other uppy. Huh? I hear crying friend. <gasps> I see a crying friend over there. I see a crying friend over there. Fudge. I can't reach that guy. No! No! Ow. Ah! Okay. No wall, just... Please be an actual friend. Hooray! Actual, factual friend! Oh boy. Okay, at least we at least it put me back over there. Psst. 
Yeah, it's like now we all remember why we didn't help or why we got so angry at Zote before. It's because he's a jerk. <laughs> he's a jerk, but at the same time, you know, there's very few people down here that are actually alive. So maybe we should try to be nice to the ones that are alive. Even if they're not particularly nice to us. You never know, maybe one day we'll be in trouble and Zote might actually save us. I don't know that that's not particularly true. I don't know that that's not true. Aw, oh, frick. Ow! Sorry, I love double jump. Okie dokie. Uh, we need to go up right here. Uppy! Let's go uppy. Let's go uppy. Let's go uppy. Zoda is basically a grumpy old guy. It's okay, Zoda. I know. You just need your nap, buddy. Ah! Yes! More of our favorites? Wait, is that guy fighting those guys? What? No. He's crapping out more guys. Gross. Failed tramway. Hi, Critter. Hey, Undercover Steel. How are you guys doing? Oh, yeah, it's all busted up. Aw, oh, jeez. Um. This is a little nerve-wracking. Oh, hello. Hello, friendly bonus health. I do not know what that did. <laughs> Gonna harm you. Not while we're around. Look at all the lovely things for trams that I don't have. Ow, 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 ow. Maybe there will be a token in one of these, though. Oh, look, we can go inside this one. Whoop. Oh, <gasps> tram pass! Aw, yeah, son! We got ourselves a tram pass. That is exactly what I was hoping for. Rootin', tootin', spaghetti, tootin'. No, no, Dast. <laughs> I 
No, 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 no. The tram's not judging Hollow Knight's life choices, okay? And if it was, we'd beat it up. Just a diddly dawn minute. Excuse me. No, not you. I don't care about you. I don't give a I don't give a dang about you. I just wanna know. Can I take I did not see, so I wanna go look. Is this a shortcut? Can I many? Oh gosh! Oh, I made a mistake! Oh boy, haunt. Turn oh, tartar sauce! Oh no, that's a lot of enemies. Okay, stop it! Stop it now! Hollow Knight's done playing! Listen to your grandmother! Even though she stole your money! Yeah, okay. I guess I can't because this one kind of crashed into that. I see. I was just curious if you could actually get to the mask maker, but no, it's blocked off. Okay. Have a good one, Balthazar. Thank you for joining us. You sleep well. Come here. Yeah, it's on, um, Hollow Knight's on a lot of things. I'm playing it on PC. It's also available on the Nintendo Switch. I'm pretty sure it's also on the Xbox One and PS4. And oh no! <laughs> I imagine so now, Necro, especially considering I'd, like, basically walked all the way around it. That's all right. We found it, and that is the most important thing. And now we have the tram pass, which is going to make getting through uh, some of these other areas much easier. You could say Grandma was money grubbing. No, don't be sorry, Yaiba. That was a good one. That was actually really good. Alright, so I'm gonna go down. See, there's this area... There's this area over in the bottom right that I also want to see what the heck it is. There's also an uppy over here by Fungal Waste. But that might just also go to Fungal Waste. I don't know. There's... There's a lot of things. Dude, maybe I should do that first. Oh. Oh, look at that. That's convenient. No, I don't want to. Actually, I guess it would be more of a straight shot to go down the other way? I guess it would. All right, Jaden, have a good night. Thanks for joining us. Sleep well. Hey, Flossie, how you doing? Oh, you sleep well, too. Thank you guys for joining us. I appreciate it. Ow. this way go 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 this way no not this way this is a dead end don't go this way go that way yeah yeah go that way uh-huh go that way because it's not a dead end yeah go 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 that way oh are you being silly Oh, 
Oh, is that a shortcut? No, that's spikes. Of course it is. It's always spikes, isn't it? Wee bonk. Hi, Coral. What are you doing here? Hello, hello! What a thrill this is to find such warm comfort amidst the den of beasts. This is a ferocious place, no doubt. Supposedly, there's a village deep in the Warren. Its inhabitants never accepted Hallownest's king. Really? Why not join me for a time? These waters do wonders for weary legs! I think I will, Quirrell. Thank you. Thanks, Quirrell. Yeah, he pretty much did. Angry Tree has walked in, or he opened the door and he was like, hey, Ollie keeps making farting noises, so he's coming back in here. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. I love the Hano Knight so much. Aw, look, he's resting his weapon against the bench. That's such a cute detail. Okay, see you later, Quirrell! mistaken about that. I want to see what's over there to the right. Because this is the tram. Oh. Yeah, insert the tram pass. Yes, please. Oh, how cool. Oh my gosh, this adorable music. Press the glowing button. No, hang on. Oh, also the trams are a bench. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. It's the resting music, but as if it's played through an old speaker. Yeah, I want to push the button. I want to see the cutscene. really cool. Do not have a map for this area. What? What? For real? This looks like deep nest, though. Uh... Oof! It's not. What the hell is this? Okay, hang on! I'm s I... Okay, we found a new area! This is very mysterious. Um... Hello, Ollie. One moment. I actually, I want to go back, uh, because there was some stuff in Deep Nest that we didn't explore, and then we'll come back to this new area. Hi, Kingler. How you doing? Hi, Ollie. 
Because this is the ancient basin. Which we've pretty much fully explored. This is really cute and I love it. Holly, why don't I Buddy, why don't you come hang out? Yeah, just pull back. Are you hungry? Let me see if Ollie needs some food. You're doing good, King Learn. Glad to hear that. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. We're just having a nice night with Ollie and I. Fun. Now you're making farting noises back here. Thanks, Ollie. Thanks for the kiss. All right. So we're going to check out what's down first. We'll go inverted uppy, and then we'll uh, check out the new area. Which will be super unnerving, considering I no longer have a banking grandma to depend on. Hello, Ollie. Yes, that is my ear that you have yelled in. Yo, Zarin got you flask! Congratulations, Zarin! I'm getting you flask. Congratulations, my friend. What's inside your flask? Uh, so Ollie really does not want to stay anywhere today. You really don't want to stay, do you? Don't. Oh my goodness! We are so picky! We are such a diva today. Okay, Ollie. I know. I know. Well, he's squeaking and he's pointing his head that way. He wants on his other perch. I know, buddy. I know. You demand. You demand sustenance. And sustenance is existing on your other perch, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You want to watch the cat. That's what it is. You want to watch the kitty. Is that what it is? Ooh, some milk from a cow. That sounds like a good thing to be in a flask. Have a good night, Battery. Thank you for joining us. Sleep well. You want to go out there, Mr. Raleigh? Or do you want to sit here on my hand? I will let you decide. He's like, I, I don't know. That's too many choices. Is that too many choices, buddy? I mean, you could sit on my shoulder. You want to sit on my shoulder? Maybe? Maybe. Very distinct maybe. Nope. Unacceptable, says Ollie. <laughs> He's like, no, this isn't the other perch. I'm smarter than that. <laughs> Hang on, you guys. Okay, I'm back. Who has the almond? Oh, well, I mean, both of us have access to the almonds. I would give him one, but I guarantee you what would happen is he would get all excited, he'd eat it, he'd spend maybe up to five minutes hunting for crumbs, and then he would squeak and one out there. Yeah, I mean, Angry Trees and I have had Ollie for coming up on 10 years. Well, he, he'll be 10 years old next month. And we got him around five months. So you just kind of 
start to learn their body language. And also, you know, they, they learn to communicate with us better too, over time. All right, let's go down. Going downy. Oh, so far downy. Oh yeah, I can't go that way. That's right, that's why I had that mark there. It's because we couldn't go that way. No, we couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what? What? It says there's another exit. Okay. Hey, Estetri, how you doing? Yeah, Ollie does know how to sneeze, too. He learned that um, from one time that I got really sick. Shadow Heart Shadow Heart coming in and from the New World are on my list, correct? They're on my big list of like 400 games, yeah. Well. Okay, it looks like this was a bust. I don't seem to be able to get here. Someday! No. Okay. Well, fine then, creepy void. Keep your secrets. Oops, was not paying attention. Oopsies, oopsies. Hi, Freakish. You had a bad migraine all day yesterday. Oh no! I hope you're feeling better now. All right, well, um, onward to a new area, I suppose. Onward! Press the glowing button! I'm a little sad that I couldn't explore what was down there, but we'll eventually figure out whatever skill that is. Super friendly and stuff. That is one creepy and gorge bug. He looks so sad. He's not really attacking me, though. Read about it. Where to go? No, that's a carver hatcher. Hiveling, smallest of the hive's inhabitants, carries out simple tasks. 
Bufi, large docile creature that peacefully buzzes around in the caverns of Kingdom's Edge. Oh. Interesting. Okay, well. We'll leave them be. If they are docile. I'm not really one to harm docile things. Okay, there's an exit there. These guys, though, are like getting in my face, so they're gonna have to go. But the big ones are nice. I know he's like, he's like, wait a minute, he ate too much honey. And now we've got a bit of a tummy ache. Poor big buggy. I'll be your friend. Oh, hey, look, acid. Mmm, my favorite. Oh, I see a map piece. Kingdom's Edge. Wow. Ow! Oh, no, I'm sorry, buggy. these dead bugs, man. Make him noise. Isn't this a cozy hole? I've been venturing about that wilderness beside here if that moment's break was well called for. The landscape's all rather serene this side of the city, though the inhabitants are as ferocious as ever. Yes, I would love a map, please. <laughs> Kingdom's Edge. Oh, would you look at that? There's exits to the City of Tears, and also a bench that way. Thank you, Cornifer. You are truly the sweetest of bug souls. Whoa. I don't like these hoppy bugs. What is this? There's like salt everywhere. Oh, uh oh, I upset their people. This one has a mask. This is... I don't know, like, I can't tell. Is this, like, bug ash? I don't know, it's like bug ash. Ow, okay, they take three hits. Eventually, but I see there's a bench here, so I'd like to venture to that first. Whoa! Oh 
am I? Okay, hello. Hi! 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 You're a big one, aren't ya? Hi! 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 Hopper? Great Hopper! Leaps around the edge of the world trying to crush prey beneath its body! Nice! you i would cheese you i'm gonna do it i'm gonna cheese you because guess what you're a big boy and you can't fit through this hole <laughs> hello would you like to join your friend in being dead Come on down to the cheese factory, son! Ow! You know, you're not supposed to cheese me, meanie. Hi, Fat Cheese Man. How are you doing today? Ooh, creepy palace. Map updated. Wait, is there something this way? Yo, there totally is. Oh, and it's... Oh. A little too quiet. Mm hmm. Oh goodness, what have I done? Wait, this is really downy. Mm. Hang on. There's too many directions! Oh. Oh. Hunger, brother. Oh. Oh. Okay. I need a stronger dream nail for that guy, I'm guessing. Oh my gosh, which reminds me that I actually can upgrade my dream nail and I haven't. Um, I'm gonna just... No, not there. Here. There. Remember, there's a thing there. Okay. Aw, thanks, Bossy. That's kind of you to say. Oh, who's this? Hello? Eh? Tostaku Gun. Nailmaster Oro? Oh, how did you find me down here where the world ends? I don't know. I rode my chocobo? I want to ride my chocobo all day. Kupo. Final Fresh, thank you for re -subbing. for two months in a row. Welcome back. I appreciate that. How are you doing? Kupo, indeed. Yes, I know why you're here. You came to learn a nail art from the legendary nail master Oro. It is the law of the great nail sage that I must pass down my teachings to those who are worthy. But no lord forbids me from exacting a payment for my time. If you truly wish to train under me, prove it with Geo. Geo Kalala. I got lots. 
Here you go, bud. I'm making it rain. Master the dash slash. <gasps> Hold X to concentrate energy into the nail. Release the button while dashing to perform the dash, dash slash. Okay, well, that yeah, kind of rules. Hmm. I must say, you are an excellent pupil. Your skill with the nail and your thirst to become stronger. You remind me of my brother. I've taught you all I can. Go into the world, traveler, and leave me to my solitude. <gasps> oh, you bow to us. I bow to. I bow to, sir. Cool. Oh, man, that rules. Oh, that's awesome. That is really awesome. I dig it. Always welcome. We love our lurkers. Ah, trying friend down below. Need to figure out. Oh gosh, there's a lot of those, huh? Need to figure out how to get down there to it. I'm not even sure. Dude, these guys have a lot of health. Um, yeah, I gotta figure out how to get down there. Have a good one, Muddle. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Roga. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. Classy, Scooby Bard. Bossy, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome on in, my friend. Grab your very own Moogle companion and join us in our quest for fun. I appreciate that. Thank you for the support. Hope you enjoy those emotes. You're doing good, Rogue. I'm glad to hear that. I'm doing excellent tonight. Thank you for asking. Um, although I... Oh, okay. I just missed it. Oh gosh! Uh, uh, holy Charlie horse! <laughs> Ow! Oh my! Thorns really is a lifesaver. I tell you what. Never unequip it. I need to be using that more often. Better be a friend. Several new grub friends so far. Oh, 
Also, I just realized that you can totally move around with that. Whoops. <laughs> Come on. Come on, me. Get it together. Creepy heartbeat, creepy heartbeat, creepy heartbeat. Aw, thank you, Bossy. We're glad to have ya. So we went from rock candy to cotton candy. No, no, no! Moguls are not cotton candy. A fudge! Why did I do that? I could have just fallen. Oh, I did that earlier in a different area of fat cheese, man. I totally died to something incredibly similar. And then I just, dude, I shook my head at myself. It was very silly. Nice music. I'm digging it. Oh, fudge. I saw that coming and I... <laughs> I still didn't dodge it. Silly me. I feel like I hear someone singing. We're like buzzing along to the beat of this song. Have a good night, Landis. Thank you for joining us. You sleep well. Ow. Oh, jeez. Those guys, man, they get me every time. Ow, ow, fudge. Uh, what's this? Hello? That's a very large dead bug. Quick slash. Ooh, snap! Quick slash. Cost three. Born from imperfect discarded nails that have fused together. The nails still long to be wielded. Allows the bearer to slash much more rapidly with their nail. For the button spammer and all of us. Okay, well that rules. Heckin' yeah. Heckin' to the heckity heck yeah. basically a big roundabout uh, to get that. Worth it, though. If I stay right here, I, I can hide. I can hide. Oh my god. Ha 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 right here so good updated map excellent um you know hmm 
Now this is gonna be a difficult decision. I don't really have enough notches to use that and all my other random fun exploring things. Oh, when you beat the game on release, it was so... It was so widely used they nerfed it and made it cost three even though it costed two before. Dang. I mean... Yeah, yeah, because Heavy Blue and Long Nail are both two. It is a really good one. I don't know. I'll probably find a way to try to include it in my boss fight ones. But it costs a lot to just be walking around with. Have a good night, Okami. Thanks for joining us. Sleep well. It's a dang shiny looking badge, though. That's for sure. Alright, we're gonna go up it, yeah. Up it, yeah. Up it, we're gonna go up it. Mm -hmm. I love me some uppy. Oh, look at that. A barrier I can't cross. Got another one of these fun little barriers that I'm gonna mark on my map. Fun barrier. I think that's one that you can uh, break down from above. Oh gosh, that's a lot of bucks. Yep. Bam. Oh, ooh, there's something over here too. Oh, hello. Hello, Wanderer's Journal. Excellent. Okay, there's another exit up here. What, what else is over here? Is there anything? Have a good one, Harry Fan. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Oh. Yeah, alright. That just looks like the rest of the circle. Let's go! Yaka, how are you doing? Oh. You are rude. Ow. a friend we rescued a friend yeah you tired oh just got home from work well you'll be able to get some nice rest now progress has been good today it's been very good we've defeated one boss uh but i got a health upgrade we also got another pale ore i found probably five or six grubs total i also got the tram pass and uh, now I'm exploring a new area, the Kingdom's Edge. You can relate, yeah, but you found all your friends in jars too. <laughs> oh, it says there is a bench in this lovely upward direction. Oh, this is back 
back outside. Wanderer's journal. Oh. Oh my. Oh. It's cold here. That suddenly makes me sad. Oh no, it's quiet here. This is a lengthy a hornet! Waifu! My bug waifu is back. I don't know what to do. I mean, obviously we need to, uh... Obviously we need to follow her. But I'm really scared she's gonna try to kill me again. Bug waifu, if I follow you, are you gonna not kill me? No, you'd pursue the deeper truth. It isn't one the weak could bear. Of course, you are gonna fight me. Prove yourself ready to face it. I'll not hold back. My needle is lethal, and I'd feel no sadness in a weakling's demise. Show me you can accept this kingdom's past, and claim responsibility for its future. Garama! Show! Tricks up her sleeves. Some cheap ones. Okay, she's got spikes now. Let's figure out what we want to bring. Hmm. Maybe shaman stone? There's also... I'm gonna go with quick slash. I'm gonna see what quick slash is like for this. Depending on how this goes, uh, it's possible that I may also switch to the stalwart badge, um, and then also have um, the one that makes it so we don't move when we attack. Shop! Shop! Hey, guys! Hey, guys! 
Yeah, she attacks a lot faster than she used to. then question for myself the stinky cheese work hi trop how are you doing today I also like using the Wario and Luigi badge to make Waluigi. I love Hornet, so I'm just, I love our whole story so far. Like, I don't even know that much about it. It's just mysterious. <laughs> And I like that. Hey. Oh, damn it. Dude, mess that up. badge does not get rid of those but it does take away damage on her hmm hmm okay intriguing Intriguing. I think I'm going to keep going with this for a little bit. The long nail actually seems really useful in this fight. Yeah, no, she's not messing around. Girl ain't messing. And you're doing good, Trump. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, it took you forever to realize you could get rid of the spikes? Yeah. Well, it was like... It was kind of by accident that I managed to hit one. Shut up! 
Messed that up. Okay, so it looks like you can get in like two heals. to de-wife you right now. That's some very, very rude spikes. Oh. Okay. Now I got to go back to the bench. To beat a seamstress, you really have to bob and weave. <laughs> okay, we can get her. We can get her. The long nail helps super, super duper a lot for this fight. I normally hadn't really been using it, um, but it helps a lot for her because I was noticing in the first couple tries, I was missing her quite a bit. Uh. Oh, you punk. This is a pathetic attempt. Why? Why are you like this, Hornet? I thought we were friends. Huh? I thought we were friends. Now you're being the biggest jerk face. You are such a jerk. You know what? I'm not inviting you to my Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner anymore. The friendship is over, as far as I'm concerned. She soiled it. She's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. Ha! 
was silly of me. Would you maybe like... There's so much going on in this fight. I was doing way better, and now I'm just kind of screwing it all up. At least we don't lose our money. But we got that going for us. He just moves a lot faster. Oh my gosh. And she like, what the flip, dude? sucks when she blocks them too. Oh. You butt, Hornet. Stop it. Be nice. I said be nice. You're not listening. Rude. Also, that one went better, except for I didn't heal because I didn't realize that she went into her second sit down. I hit her too fast, so we didn't get to heal. She's clear. Yeah, she apparently really enjoys wearing Adidas. marketing although not really you butt ah when she decides to do that because then she freaking doesn't take damage from my bolt. Why are you like this?
I should have double jumped there. She does that so fast. Darn it. Did a dumb one. Ah! Oh, I fall right into that. Oh, jeez, freaking no. Oh, jeez, Louise, why is I keep getting her to that, and then it gets super chaotic, and I accidentally hit her before I can heal. Just getting destroyed, like, all in one go. I'm doing good. How are you? Hi, Swain. Yeah, no, we're gonna get it. Oh, you got me there, girl. Unfortunately, too close to her there. when it starts to get really chaotic that it's really freaking difficult. Yeah, she just, she covers so much of the damn space with those. It really sucks that Dung Defender doesn't do anything about them. Dragonverse, welcome, how you doing? Also, I'd like to reemphasize that I'm just thinking out loud and stuff right now. I don't actually want any help.
thought you were gonna do that, Hornet. And then you got me anyway. Darn it. You got me with that one. Just, yeah, just taking silly damage is what's getting me. when she hit me that time. And then sadly, well, I, not really sadly, I was still alive. I just thought I was out of HP. That one was a lot better though. Also, hi the Vanquisher, no. I am absolutely not speed running this. If I were, I'd be doing an awful job. This is my first time playing Hollow Knight. So we're very casual. Hi Legion, how you doing? Okay, yeah. I wanted to test that out. It's, it's just so, so risky trying to get those in. And then if you stay above her too long, that happens. Oh, why do you gotta do that twice? That's not very friendly. Nope. Nah, I'm just gonna die. This attempt sucks. Hello, Hornet! Now, oh, now, okay, I'm like, now you can't hit me? No, not Battletoads. <laughs> One of these big hits in, but she just. <laughs> and then she'll just like decide to say, you know what? F you, bud. Oh. 
Okay, I see. What's going on with those is that I'll try to hit them too soon and and then because they take a second to actually come out. So if you try to get rid of them too soon, they just end up bodying you instead. Which ends up being kind of hot garbage. What comes to my mind when I hear this shade's music? I don't know, it's a pretty creepy music box, so... What? She didn't even actually finish that attack. I don't know if she hit me. could do it if you had the will but could you raise your nail once knowing its tragic conception and knowing yourself then do it ghost of hollow nest head onward burn that mark upon your shell and claim yourself as king what Becoming a king. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna go sit at the bench now. Hello, I'm gonna go sit at the bench. I would like to be bench. Also, hello! Starlit Night Raid is high! I'm Spody. It kind of came in during my concentration phase. <laughs> we just defeated Hornet number two. And that attempt was, like, a thousand times better than any of the other ones I did. <laughs> Hi, Spoonie. How are ye? D. No, 
Sophie, thank you so much for 17 months. Welcome back. I appreciate that. Ding. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. I'm a little shaky. I'm a little shaky from that fight. I want to have my chocobo all day. I want to have my chocobo all day. Back to the exploration pack. Hey, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Starlet. That's super kind of you. Welcome back, Penny. I hope you enjoy those emotes. Well, yeah, Tofi, I mean, it's a pretty difficult boss fight. That's usually what happens whenever adrenaline starts pumping into your system. From doing something that requires a lot of focus and is stressful. <laughs> Techie's just like brain power? Brain power? Mandrake, how you doing? Oh, this looks creepy. We're going into the maw of something. Cast off shell? Cast off shell. Oh, hello. Marked by King's Brand. Hello, Ness shall recognize a new ruler. The kingdom's gates will open. I am the king now! Also, oh, I guess they probably want me to leave this. Oh. Oh boy, did we just get crushed? Who saved me? She wanted us to be king. We proved ourselves. She wanted us to be king. I forgive you, Bog Waifu. You were only trying to make us stronger. Do I play on a large monitor? Um, I mean, I'd say it's a pretty regular size monitor. It's a 24 inch, 25 actually. But if you see me looking this way, it's because I have two monitors and chat's on my second monitor. Oh. I don't really know what this means. It said the kingdom's gates will open. I'm guessing perhaps those are... Wait. No. Maybe that means that the palace grounds in the ancient basin will open. Ooh. Ooh, that would be cool. Hang on, I'm gonna write that down. Kingdom's gates open. Um, did we update the bosses list? With our- ow. Ow! Jeez, those bugs are really annoying. Is 
there's stuff to go into the City of Tears. Uh, I see a down area down there. But I, I... Oh, wait. I think that's where that grub was that I couldn't figure out how to get. Ow. Well, yes, but there were two hornet fights, so she should go on there again? So that people know that we beat two hornet fights, not just one. Weird, that bat seemed docile. Whoa! That fell right out of the sky! You know what? I wanna go uppy. Oh, no, nope, no, nope. that is still an exploding bat. Got it. people go live. I do also post on my Twitter and in the Discord when we go live. Uh, which, as a sub, you are welcome to join the Discord if you'd like. Got all serene over here. What's this? Cool. That'll bring us back here. Okie dokie. Let's see what the other City of Tears exits are. Ollie, there is nowhere to go out there, buddy. It's... It's dark. Hello. He wants out there anyway. <laughs> We got Ollie for like a whole half hour. So I I guess that 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 was good, right? No, no, it's okay, Log. But yeah, I usually stream um Wednesday through Sunday and it usually starts at six. Hey Sarmats, how you doing? Okay, sorry you guys. Ollie's being very picky today, so I guess he just doesn't want to hang out. How's Hollow Knight as compared to other Metroidvania games? Super, super good. Um, the feeling that I get playing Hollow Knight is the same feeling I got playing Castlevania Symphony of the Night and Super Metroid. 
The controls are super good. They're very tight. And the game's atmosphere is really nice. There's a lot of bugs. So if you're not a big fan of bugs, well, I mean, that's basically the game. But it's kind of got um it has a tiny bit of dark souls to it and that when you die you lose your money uh, unless you go get your soul and then you get it back money in here. That is a really good description of Hollow Knight, actually. <laughs> Super cute, but also badass. Tower of Love? A locked padded door. Um... Not sure how I feel about this. That is... Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Good thing I went upstairs first. Well, yeah, I guess the trade-off is like Symphony of the Night, you can level up. So if you can't beat a boss, you could go grind levels to get more health so you could be a bit more tanky. You can't really do that in Hollow Knight. Ow. Um... Yeah, I kind of feel like this is a trick, but... No? Oh, wow! You are actually a friend. Okay. Every time now. I met that one mimic. Oh. Oh! Oh! There was something this direction. Oh, jeez, in King Station. I like how I never even noticed that before. Yeah, Symphony of the Night also has a bunch of different weapon styles and stuff. Man, this is neat. Coliseum of Fools? Hey! That's that Coliseum that that one dude told me to meet him at. Yeah, and Symphony was easier to orchestrate different strategies. <laughs> well, it's also Trap that uh, the last... <laughs> or I don't know, not last time. It was a few times ago. I let one of those grub guys out. And it turned out to be a freaking mimic. So that really... That really hurt me. 
that really hurt my trust. Look at this sign. Something about putting the grubs in in those things. Also, it sounds like there's a lady tickling a grub in there. I kind of want to go to the Coliseum of Fools, not gonna lie. That looks amazing. That looks like a place where I can die like a silly person. Hello, Rom! Hello! Come in, 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 come in. Come in, come in. All right, that's it. Why are there so many empanadas in the chat? <laughs> Have you turned in your love of cheese for empanadas? Where's the wet pets? Where's wet pets? I don't have wet pets, so I can't show that, but I do have a video. Hello, Raiders. Welcome. I have a video that's not wet pets. I hope you still enjoy it. Raiders, welcome! Hi there! Hello. Hi, I'm Spoonie. Normally over here on my right is a Congo African gray parrot named Ollie, but he's being very... He's being a diva. Let's face it, Ollie's being a diva. He's sitting on another perch right now. <laughs> welcome. How are you guys doing today? I play mostly RPGs. Um... I play a whole lot of RPGs because I really like them. But also on Saturdays, we do a little bit called Side Quest Saturday, where I play an indie or retro game, short to medium length, as voted on by subs. Our most recent game that got voted on was Hollow Knight, so that's what I'm playing. It is a totally blind playthrough, just to let you know. Um, in case you're curious, my safe word for asking for help is, hey chat! If I shout out that, it's totally cool to answer and let me know. Um, let me know the answer to my question, but otherwise, I'm just thinking out loud. I kind of enjoy the struggle, so if that sounds like your thing, welcome. <laughs> Today, so far, um, I defeated two bosses, one of them being Hornet number two. I am the king now, Rom! I am the king of bugs! Whatever that means! I have the mark of the king, and I also got some health. Look at how cool we are with our king's brand. Also, a grandma stole all my money. <laughs> it's been, it's been a good stream. Also, Bards, if you are not already, please do make sure that you go follow Romcom, because he's absolutely fantastic. Wonderful broadcaster, very good friend of mine. Plays all kinds of stuff, and he loves Hollow Knight. How are you doing today, Rom? What were you guys up to? Exactly, Cloud McStrife. <laughs> like Chrono Fantasy 9. What was my first decree? Uh... 
No more evil bank grandmas. That's my first decree. If you see an evil bank grandma, you best hand her in, because I want my revenge. She stole 2,700 geos from me. I will murder that lady. <laughs> it was actually quite hilarious, though. I was talking about how uh, fighting Soul Master taught me patience in this game as I was going da -da -da -ba -ba -da -da, going to turn in some, some more money to the bank before I went exploring and then I showed up and she was gone and I hit her stand and it fell over like cardboard. The trolliest thing ever. The grubs are really cute. Oh, I've also rescued like, I don't know, six of those today? Ow. You played some totally accurate battle sim in ROR2 tonight. Nice. Also, hi, Amy. How are you doing today? Hey, Stella Jason, welcome. I, uh, if she is actually around, I don't necessarily want to know. All I know is, is she disappeared and if she's around and I find her, great. If I don't and she ran away, well, then I guess I'm just out of luck and I'm gonna have to find someone else to take my vengeance out on. Hello. Ah, another warrior finds our, their way to our fair coliseum. Emphasis on fair. Ours is a final destination for all seeking trials of intense and deadly combat. All one has to do is place their mark upon the trial board of choice, and lo, the arena's gate will open. There's a small fee attached to each trial, but I'm sure as skilled as combatant as yourself will have accrued a wealth of Chio. Now, before you draw your nail and rush eagerly to battle, I'll offer one quick word of advice. There's a warrior's pit just below here where others like yourself await their own trials. I'd strongly advise using it to rest up before placing your mark. Oh, and have no doubt, I'm a fearsome warrior myself. Don't go judging me by my size or my current, um, constraints. The Coliseum beckons us both. I'll be back in battle soon. Make a contribution and you can enter the trial of the warrior. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Sounds cool. Very well, then a new trial is open to you. I hope your performance is spectacular. Uh. Wait, where's the... Hang on. I'd like... very confusing. Rom, thank you so much for gifting out a sub to Cloud Mixed Strife. Welcome. I hope you enjoy those emotes. Mm. Look who's here! Uh, what do you want, Kerr? Have you come to laugh at me as well? Fools! Did you never consider that being trapped in this cage was precisely what I intended? Yes, by all means, release me into your arena! I am Zoke, the Mighty! And as soon as I draw my nail, life into your laughter will turn into terror! I don't. <laughs> and low zone. from the other side. Cute. Thank you, Rom. Seriously, I love this game. It's so dang good. Alright, this is creeping me out here. 
This looks like, this, okay, this looks like one of those things that's blocking some of the paths. But it's not active. Oh, oh, also, yes, uh, by the way. So, in Hollow Knight, you find uh, a lady who kind of looks and sounds like a grandma bug. Who, if you pay her 150 geo, she will open a bank in which you can store up to 4,500 geos. So that if you die and then die a second time without picking up your soul, your geos are safe. Unfortunately, it turns out, if you deposit 2,550 or more geos, she disappears. Like a vanishing circus. I'm pretty sure someone got a clip of my reaction to it. Yeah, she bounced. She stole all my money. <laughs> she stole the whole lot of it. Hi, Vixen Rose. How you doing? Hunter says, that sounds like my grandma. <laughs> oh no! No! Grandmas are supposed to give out those delicious strawberry candies and give you hugs. <laughs> How are you doing, Hunter? It's good to see ya. Oh, you're wondering what happened during your first playthrough. Yeah. Indeed. There it is. Thank you, Kefka. That's how Grandma afforded all those perfect strawberry things. Man, they are good. Uh, five for you and a charm. Oh, gosh, a charm notch? Yes. Gimme! I will fight. I will fight you. Do either of them have those delicious strawberry candies, Moosey Fops? Coliseum of Fools! Let's go! how it is ah dude okay that man those guys are not very nice at all bugs trying to like watch us fight. Woo! Hey, on your night. What up? You got shurukens out. that I suck at fighting.
Okay. Oh, wow. All right. He's got some range on him. Oh, I can't knock that one off. Okay. not quite jump high enough for that. I went just sideways instead. Okay, it's not over. That figures. Ow. Oh, why did I do that? It was very silly of me. Ow. Rude. Rude. Oh, come on, bug. <laughs> that was a bit unfortunate. What is this? Dude, what? Good game choice. Guess who's fighting so with the mighty? <laughs> Swabby, thank you so much for two months. Welcome back. I appreciate that. How are you doing today? Somehow I feel like uh, we shouldn't really underestimate him. Oh. 
Alright. He's alright. He's okay. I don't know, I still I'm so suspicious. charm notch though so that's pretty sweet hmm I'll do defender's crest hard but it, it was it was what I assume is the first of multiples welcome back warrior make a contribution and you can enter the trial of the conqueror yeah all right I see it looks like there's at least three trials the dung defender um, thing that I got. It's a badge. Five for you and a charm notch. Wait. Oh, I already did that one. Oh, I see. Ooh, a rare metal. Okay. Hey, chat. Um, I'm assuming I can't do this fight a second time for another charm notch, right? Because I've already beaten it. I'm thinking no. Just Geo. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, this is for Geo and a rare metal. We'll see how we do. I'm not very confident about this, but we'll see how we do. I wasn't expecting him to keep standing there. Oh, how nice! Oh! oh. Missed up.
Oh, okay, his little up jump thing gets rid of that. Oh, no! I don't need to stand in the corner. Oh, geez. Should not have stood there. What these are more stuff to freaking bounce off of. Ow! Oh, dude, I walked right into that.
no, I have so much money too. So much geo. Whoo, that was intense. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, that was intense. Welcome back, warrior. Make a contribution and you can enter the trial of the fool. Yeah, I'm gonna pay for it. I'm just gonna pay for it. We're not going in. Huh? Very well, then. A new trial is open to you. I hope your performance is spectacular. What do you get for this? Trial of the Fool. Fight for Geo and the glory of being a fool. Not yet, but maybe someday. What does being a fool mean? We'll have to compete to find out. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Hang on. We got to go back. I forgot to re-equip my exploration stuff. I don't think there's more than one me. I have, yes. I did not use the dream nail on the songstress because I haven't decided if I want to or not. But I did meet her, yes. Wrong one. Uh, where was it? Sprint Master. That's what I want. Um, yeah, I guess. Okay, so... Oh, actually, I guess I could take the elevator up there. Because there's a tram... Oh, yeah, there's the tram. I think I'll go up there and take the tram. It's interesting there's actually multiple trams, which I didn't realize either. Let's go up there and take the tram. Yet. Um, hey chat, the blacksmith was in the City of Tears, right? Oh, yeah, 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 he's over there, okay. Hmm, actually it might be easier for me to go all the way down to the stag station. And then go to the other one, and then go down there. We. Woo! Yeah! Oh wait, forgot. These elevators have spikes on them, so... 
I want to go down. Not uppy right now. We go down. actually quite proud of myself for completing two out of three of those one shot no we'll have to save uppy don't worry we'll go uppy again soon i promise but for now i kind of have to i gotta go upgrade my weapon we have two ores, so I feel like we should. Especially with all this money I'm carrying, I might as well find a way to spend it. Let's go to the city storerooms. Hey, watermelon little face, how you doing? No, I haven't found... I haven't found <sighs> fake liar grandma. We'll find her. I'ma find you, Grandma. I'll find you. Ooh, plus this way, I think our thorns will do a little more damage too, which will be excellent. <gasps> I love double jump so much. Wait, is that right? Yeah. Ow. Not friendly. Okay, that's something that I could consider a possibility, Ponstick. If it weren't for the fact that her bank was literally made of flimsy cardboard that fell down. Which really kind of leans towards she stole my money. Yeah, no, don't worry. You have not missed the revenge yet. So we are coming up on the end of stream here. <gasps> Wait a minute, what am I doing? Be lazy! The lazy way, huh? Bugs are all over the place. Uh, it's gone, Nano. She stole my money. It's all gone. Ah, Ranjo Stenja. Uparu, you could write a song called Ode to Double Jump. I'd listen to that song. Huh? Oh, you've returned. I see you have some pale ore. A rare, fine metal, that. Give me the ore and some geo for my efforts, and I'll reforge your nail to make it stronger. Aw, oh, yeah, that's right. I spent all my money now. Take my money. I have no idea, Spant. Um, I don't want to know. I have the suspicion that I will find her somewhere if I look hard enough, but I don't want anyone to say whether that's true. Here we are. The reforging's complete. I've modified the nails of spiral form. A very tricky task it was. You'll find it stronger than ever before. Off you go now. Cut your way forward. Spiral. Ooh. Ooh, coiled nail, a powerful weapon of hollow nest, refined beyond all others. Hmm, Vendasu. Three pieces. Okay.
Now I need three pieces of pale ale. Or, not ale. That's alcohol. Where did my note go for that? Here we go. I keep track of the number. We need three for the next one. His voice actor is the same guy from Psycho 2. That's crazy. What a small world we live in, Boha. <laughs> What are you doing? All right, I think it's time that we return home. What do you guys think? It's been a long time since we've been back to the surface. And after all, it has gotten awfully late. Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, I would if I could, Rio. Ooh, I kill those guys in one hit now. Now, this is nice. Okay, I think that means that we deal three damage now for nail hit. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Got him. Lead a bug to spikes. And you won't have to do anything else. Now those guys dying too. Time to end stream so I can keep playing the other game off stream. <laughs> oh gosh, no, I'm super far behind. The lat, well, yeah, the last thing I did in my offline game was beat the first Hornet. The dirt mouth, away! So, are you taking my waifu girlfriend? But that's not the only danger I had to overcome in my quest for glory. You noticed this trophy, haven't you? A keepsake from my final triumphant battle deep in the pit below us. Yes, life in acclaimed another victim, and the crowd erupted into ecstatic cheering. Cheering that was both loud and utterly sincere. <laughs> utterly sincere. To what do I owe my long string of triumphs and victories, you ask? As I said earlier, the key is in my personal philosophy. The 57 precepts of Zot. Particularly relevant here is the first precept. Always win your battles. As for the other 56 precepts, uh, well... Precept 2, never let them laugh at you. Fools laugh at everything, even their superiors, but beware! Laughter isn't harmless. Laughter spreads like a disease, and soon everyone's laughing at you. You need to strike at the source of this perverse merriment quickly to stop it from spreading. So that's why Zot and I don't get along. I fundamentally believe that laughter is all part of the program. Oh my gosh. 
Is it bad if I want to sit here and talk to Zoat to see if he says all 57? <laughs> Precept three, always be rested. Fighting and adventuring take their toll on your body. When you rest, your body strengthens and repairs itself. The longer you rest, the stronger you become. I guess. Precept four, forget your past. The past is painful and thinking about your past can only bring you misery. Think about something else instead, such as the future or some food. Oh, oh, dark. Oh, well, I guess we lost our fangirl, huh? Ah! Now she has a poster of Zoat here. The Grey Prince, heaving heavy breaths. Flushed from the exertion of battle, the figure emerged from the well. Triumph was his, and trophy he bore to prove it. The fearsome skull of his vanquished opponent. A startling warning he brought to the village, one that rung so true. Their white savior, thought a hero by the bugs, was a vicious beast. And the shrouded gray prince was in truth the hero deserved. With honor and humility, he recounted his quest below, his epic journey of one purpose, to find her, to protect her, his gray maiden, his partner in darkness. Now she's writing fan fictions about him. Well, okay, curiosity's got me. No way. No way. No way. Um, what? <laughs> Terrifying, beautiful, powerful, great, great prince, Zoat! <laughs> this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life! I'm terrible at it. He's way shooting tiny little bats. That's amazing. Oh, that looks like one heck of a fight. <laughs> All right, well, we're not doing that right now, but maybe someday we'll come back to it. What? What a genuine pleasure to stumble upon. That's amazing. She literally wrote a fanfic and got, she's now so obsessed with Zoat that she made a statue that I can cross the divide into and fight like an actually strong version of Zoat. I love this game. <laughs> I love this game. No, no, I just, we just fell asleep, OBG, it's fine. <sighs> we just fell asleep. Ooh, tram pin, yes, I'll buy that. She's Zoat one heck of a fanfic, indeed. Ah, <sighs> Oh, that's one of the two fights you put up as blind tag. Okay. 
<laughs> All right, I would love to keep playing. Um, I like a thousand, thousand percent would. However, I definitely need to eat dinner and go to bed. 